There we go. That's a little better. So let's go. Uh, let copy. Okay. Nine hundred million, dude. I saw that. Almost a billion with a fucking B dollar. Oh, shh, no cussing. I'm recording. Yeah, it's a bunch. It's a bunch. Just too much money. Too much money. Too much money. That's when you have to divvy it up about 30, 40 ways. That's far too much money. Most countries of the world don't have that much money. It's too dangerous. It's not worth that much money. All right, so here we go. Wait for Dennis to join in. Wait for Russ to join in. Mute, mute, mute. No, it's not going to mute that. It's going to be Discord. Okay, how about settings on this? This audio properties. Dan should be coming along any time. He's synced up with me in the game. Oh, and there's Russ. Good deal. Russ is joining us as well. Good deal. Yeah, okay. There's that. Some uh, music while we're waiting. I guess I'll just mute that part of the music. Oh, it's getting cold in here now. All right, we can find some music. I don't care, Pandora. Pandora will work. I don't care if they mute this one. They won't mute the whole thing. Oh, Weird Al. Hey, I could look for it. Let me see Weird Al. Alright, hold on. Start station. Here we go. Oh, thanks, Kalza. Some are better than others, but they're all good. They're fun to do. And I... I like doing them. They're fun. How's the, audio, how's the audio on the music end? Is it too loud? Is it too low? How's my audio? Can you hear me clearly?
five. Yeah, I just can't hear it on the end. Let me do some louder stuff. Up. Okay, all right, so that's the volume control. So I can crank it on my end, and then I'll put about a third right there. Right. So the tough part is to get the music in the background different, and then when uh, Dennis comes on and speaking on the audio, I have to crank his, vi cr crank his audio up separately from the... Um, Let's go with um yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the graph out on it's kinda other than the boring thing there. Just sort of like an intro. And then I have to make sure that um the Discord it seems like every single time I always forget the Discord volume is usually lower in the background. Because I could set audio volumes on all the. Uh, oh, there we go. Russ is here. And then Dennis is here as well. There we go. Good deal. Alright. So, how's that volume setting for the music, Kettle? Is that a go? So that would be about three quarters of the way and it's at 30. Yeah, I do. I do. It's just, I'm doing the starter kit thing here. I'll just go ahead and close that out. I'm doing the starter kit thing here just to get just, because it seems like there's a lot of people out there doing the starter kit. Um, you can't see, see on, hold on a sec. The, I can't change the bass. That's YouTube. That's all on YouTube or just my voice. Let me look what it says on YouTube. Because YouTube had my my voice that was super bass. And I, I can't change that. But we don't have the ability to change that. We only have volume control. Let me click on that. Here's the duck. Y'all got your ears on. Hey, there you go, Dennis. Super bass. And I, I can't change that. Oh, actually, that's my voice. Change that. We only have volume control. I have Discord open, but I couldn't get in until I clicked on the link you sent to Russ and then logged back in. Okay. Okay. And Russ is, um, yeah, that bass, that, that voice is just my normal voice, guys. But last time I recorded and put it online, my bass, my voice was like 12 octaves lower. So I don't know what the hell happened there. I just thought that was scenario S, S, no, no, Fred, Fred Arm. And let me see what Russ has got going on here. If you want to join us in conversation, Caslo, I could send you the, um, the room link and then at the end of the turn we'd like to have discussions like if you guys have any questions or some things like that so okay good deal yeah the mic is on this side and if i go over here it's a little bit lower volume if i speak over this way it's, the mic will be away from me that way i don't have the mic right in front of me so but um so let me try and get russ in uh so russ can you hear us now you have to set your settings in discord russ 
your Discord settings are sometimes different from what your um, computer settings are. So you'll have to click on the little um, cog in the user settings by your name. And then click on that, left click on that, and then go voice and video on app settings. And they'll be the top two input device and output device. And a lot of times those will not sync up with what your computer is defaulted to or whatever you have as default. And then we can go, and then you can go from there. At least you could hear us, at least, hopefully. So, how you been, Dennis? Good, thank you. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I did the. Uh, I practiced that. Not that it sounds like <laughs> that sounded great, but I had uh, I have I had a, a good time um, recording, so it was a lot of fun. Good. Uh, okay, so you did get it on the first take. Uh, no, not really. It was about. I I did it. I did it for about three hours. Um, three hours, damn. Just to get the um. Well, I had to get the. What I usually do is I take the uh, the the lyrics and then make sure the lyrics are like the same tempo. Like if there's eight syllables in one line, I make sure there's eight syllables. And so, that's why sometimes some of them are changed up a little bit from right. what, what you sent me. So I want to get that tempo down because. <clears throat> um, does your mic work at all, Russ? But um, but the tempo I had to make sure I. Uh, you have to sync up with me, Russ. I didn't have the board loaded when you came in the room initially. And so um. Uh, I did that, and then I listened to the song like four or five times. Well, probably about forty or fifty times, and then um, and then I recorded, and then what I did is I went to the karaoke song, and listened to it, try to get the timing on the karaoke song, and then um, I'm not sure why it auto mutes. And then it seemed like the karaoke music was slightly different from what like the original um, song, the, the release song, the original video, the YouTube video. Yeah, I sent it to the guy who helped me write it. Yeah, so it was. He noticed the same thing. The tempo was a bit slower. Just a little different, but then it catches back up, and so it's really, really odd. Usually they're pretty good on for that, but um, yeah, it was good. I mean, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I like it. But it's, it's just the what I sent it. you went through the vocal for the. Can I send you the first take? Yeah, I think so. The the one you right. just sent me today or last night or. No, before you sang. This MC is a goner. The the one Jim recorded with my voice on it, which is so horrible. I thought I sent that to you. Yeah, you did. Okay, just make sure that you know, for the timing and the tempo. So go. Yeah. Thanks for putting all that work into it. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. I just. I just have fun with it. You know, if it's not fun, then it's it's it's, it's work, and uh, you don't you don't want to make it work. But uh, like but like Caslow says, you. that any a, any day of ASL, regardless of of uh, what it what it entails, is a good day of ASL. And then uh, I think after I recorded that, I'm not either sure of that. Or actually, I was getting off last night. And I spoke to uh, Phil from Australia, or Pete. I'm sorry, Pete Pete from Australia, and um, and we had a a good chat. Uh, rules discussions chat and that's always you know it's always fun to have but unfortunately they usually go really long just because it's you're just chatting chatting ASL and so uh, I'm like I was like dozing off today <laughs> so I believe it yeah I saw you noticed oh it's 2 a.m. I'm yeah. just getting started <laughs> yeah yeah it's okay but um so uh, yeah I had I transferred all this over to the um it's really funny because I think I was just gonna make a a, a um, YouTube video over on Tabletop Simulator based on our game and based on our logged moves here and then uh, just transfer the Tabletop Simulator and then so today about 8 o'clock or 7.30 or so I made sure all the counters because I guess I'd gotten to a point where the counters were there where they should have been and then uh, and then you say do I have to buy I gotta buy Tabletop Simulator it's like oh shoot he might not have Tabletop Simulator so because I'm I remember, trying to remember I remember Seeing counters moving around and go, wow, that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's, so that's something I need to get on Steam if it, that's something I want to do. It's pretty future. nice. It's pretty nice for SK. It only has SK one and two, but um, I, I contacted the guy. He said he's wants to finish, wants to do SK three, um, but I don't know. Uh, you know, it's a matter of contacting him, no matter whatever his free time is like. So, but uh, these, it was just, it's just fun. It's just. So you could do a lot of little things. You could put the scenario, like, you know how, like, on this game right here, you've got the scenario conditions on the right-hand side or like that. And you do the exactly same thing on that game. Of course, it's in the rules or it's on the scenario card. 
but you can have you could just do like pretty much billboard signs over different places you can have arrows pointing down on the board you know just a fu- whole bunch of funky little stuff and i'm still learning a ton on it but um if i learn how to take off you know when you highlight uh, uh when you move your cursor over a counter how it like pops up the the counters here on Vazel that pops up like a, a unit description well you really kind of don't need that on uh aslk but you could highlight all the counters and then deselect um it's deselect one of the options they have there and it will remove all the all the extra uh verbiage on those counters so that was uh that was pretty good that's pretty good L- lots of fun stuff lots of fun stuff on that so can, can you guys hear me yeah i got you russ i got you now russ how all you doing? right it's it, it i'm gonna keep my Okay, we'll ask you the Cut out there. You're gonna keep your mic muted. I pretty far you'll say I'm gonna keep my mic muted. But as long as you can hear us, it's fine then. Yeah. Or, yeah, there you go, right? Now how do how do I refresh? On uh just sync again with either one of us. I think Dennis has uh loaded the game as well. Or okay. synced with me. I think you could sync with either one of us. And then you should see the map right there. Or you could just look on YouTube and then you can see it on YouTube. Your choice. Okay, I might but it's, have to do that. But it's up to you. The YouTube might be a little delayed, like about mm, eight, eight or ten seconds. I know Kazlo, Kazlo could probably verify that. And Kazlo, if you want to, if you want to join us in discussion here, let me send you the link. And then, like I say, the discussion is um is hopefully like at, at the end of the turn, we'll say end of the turn, then we'll open the discussion in case you guys have any like weird questions or or whatever that Dennis and I can can attempt to answer. Where is the button in Vassal to to resync with either of you? Uh, I can't seem to find one. Go to the um, go to the. It's like the lobby, the server lobby. Okay. And then uh, a right click on oh yeah, right click on either either one of us and just select synchronize. It should work. If not, leave the room, re-enter the room. And then there you go, sending game device. Now do you see? Do there, you see it? there you go. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was the that was one of the problems. It would not, it wouldn't let me leave the room. That's what I was going to do was leave yeah. the room, and come back in, but <laughs> yeah, we I locked the door. Break out, so it wouldn't let me. We locked the door. You can't leave yet. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not going to be on too long because I am East Coast. Yeah, no worries. And I, I am dragging. Uh, no yeah, worries. Yeah, so quarter to one your time. Uh yes, that's correct. So yes. drink, uh, get that pot of coffee, co- co- pot of coffee going, and then uh, you'll be good to go. You ready? You'll stay with us all night, <laughs> or drink a monster and have your heart explode, one or the other. So not during I'm... the show, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely not during <laughs> the show. Do it afterwards. So, but Caslow, yeah, there's. I think I saw you on previously, Caslow. So you could pop that link join us and then uh you can at least i think you hear us through the youtube but of course we'll be delayed so right now dennis we are on uh the german turn rally phase of turn three you have one more turn of reinforcements to come on and then i have uh my turn of reinforcements coming on after that i guess i had lost the 337 over on that side probably in close combat with you and then i lost a 747 somewhere else uh, yeah, looks like I lost a squad and a half, and you lost a squad and a half as well in turn two. Oh, I see. So Don't remember. So we're starting German turn three, correct? Correct. And it's the rally phase. And yeah, you have a broken unit, and I've got a broken guy in the back. Which uh, German or American turn? It's the German turn up on the top. Okay. okay. Let me, actually, let me. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can move that lower. German player only needs to have a single good order, full MMC... Has got SMC in any one of the victory buildings. Yeah. Lays that. Okay, so I misread that last time. So that's war. Okay, so we're ready then? Yeah, let me highlight these things. Oops. There's no weather, so we skip wind change, right? There's none of that. Yeah. You are crossing. All right, so then I'm going to point. Start leader led rally here. Up on Unterpins. Day one for train, one for leadership. Here goes my rally roll. Oh my god. So, 
assume casualty reduce, yes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought your old snake eyes are moving them some things around. Oh, my gosh. That's not a good thing. Man, I need to all click off that. That went well. Yeah, that's not good at all. Wow. Starts off with 12. And then, All right, let me see if I could double the effect over there and use 6 on the right-hand side of the board. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I am not quite good enough to, to roll as well as you sometimes, Dennis, but uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Careful what you wish for. Yeah. <laughs> so can one deploy and start a kit or no? You may not. There's no deploy. There's no recombine. Yeah, there's a lot of... Okay. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... Um, I guess you would call... Um, uh, other fundamental rules in advanced squad like fire lanes deployment obviously can, they're all the good stuff but, but they're like uh, that will just completely destroy and break uh, starter kit scenarios so it's uh, I just too lazy to walk over to the other room and get my differences and full and AS okay no any other rally phase stuff business to attend to nope not for me go prep fire Oh, you have uh, units coming on. Cool. Well, sure enough. Yeah, Better so set I... those up first. There we are. Turn three, east edge. That's right. We've been through this before. Yeah. So I'll snag them. So east would be at the bottom, yes? Yeah, the black or the red one, the bottom right corner. Hey, hmm. coming in turn three on the north edge okay got it. yeah i'll be coming in on the green hexes and that's one thing about the um the tabletop simulator is i can maneuver i can swap my board around and change my angle of view but your angle of view will remain the same of course it doesn't change here I, at all but in terms of just a map and then you could go on the different angles you can go from just straight overhead to straight overhead to flat with it so it's kind of nice it's kind of yeah i like the tabletop simulator very much you know it's um it's really cool it's it's, it's the next best thing to being face to face i mean you pick it up yes. counters i like right. the dice I, I put different dice in there from the dice that eddie and i played with last time and uh -huh. it's really cool it's really cool what would really be neat is if they had a video interface that you could put a web i uh, i'm sure they're working on something like that but you know, being on the internet, video cam, and kids, and weird things happening on, I think they might be liable for, you know, just someone exposes their breasts or whatever like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Then it's just a big headache, and that's what people do, because people are just that way. And so the video thing is problematic. If that's uh, something like that, you'd have to go to um, Skype, of course. I think they have the video. But uh, Discord, I think, is... I think you do video chat with Discord. It's either that or soon they will be looking for to something like that. But um, yeah, some of those people, plus some of the play, I played some poker online there and just some, uh, some of the tables and there's some less than savory individuals. Less than savory individuals. Oh, coming to Oh, what's the world been like? It's not, <laughs> it hasn't changed really. <laughs> Right, right. It's uh, it's usually you know people are the same. They've been the same for forever. It's just a different time. Different time. Okay, good deal. That's a that's gonna put some pressure up the middle, huh? Okay, I see that. 
Ish. I see that. Okay. Okay, so position my guys. I think I'm ready to start prep fire. All right. I'm assuming spraying fire is an option because the, the range is underlined. Not an option. Not an option. Not an option. Okay. Only assault fire. Only assault fire. Surrender is not an option. You just low crawl really? away. Yeah, just low crawl away. And uh, kind of pretty much bare bones, but I mean, it does have some little things that added to it, so. Unless you got to break up a little fire, Goo. Okay, I'm going to announce a shot. Four, six, seven, and R seven. Get you guys here. All right. Four straight by my count. Yep. Or uh, PTC could be worse. Okay. Yeah, it pins him. All right. Done. Well, avoid the twelve chart on you. Exactly, I'll take it. An 8 plus 3 is not going to be too terribly bad, hopefully. Right. I think I have the dice set for like 60 seconds, and then they'll disappear. Oh, okay. I think so. There we go. That way I could pop the CRT up. Oh, there's Kozlo. Good deal. Welcome, Kozlo. That's one thing I've been enjoy. That's one thing I've been enjoying in uh, Starter Kit is um, a lot of my actions and movement of the last couple of games I've been playing. I've been um, just changing things up. It just in terms of like either leaving guys out in the open because they'll they'll have a better shot I'm just deleting this stuff on the bottom they'll have like a better shot and so because the routing rules are a little bit more um you know there's because there's no uh no failure to route sort of while well, there is failure to route but you can just low crawl the, the interdiction is is there but mostly you can just always get away so um it's interesting and um, mixed results. Like I just sit guys out in the open right there and see how it goes. It gives me hopefully better fire opportunities. Do it'd be more like to be fired at than the guys in the building. So kind of. Yeah, yeah. But what the guy strategy. being DM? If everyone was in, if everyone was in the buildings, then you just fired the DM guy. Now I could rally him next turn. Well, hopefully rally next turn. Okay, and. Smoke exponents and placing infantry smoke is a thing, yes? Is a thing, correct. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Out and clear. Gotcha. Thank you. Hey, okay, let's see. That's going to be it for prep. I'll change the wheel. Let's go to movement phase. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Off. All right, are we ready? Mm -hmm. There are only five Start turns in the scenario, so... right? I just want to make sure. Uh, agreed, yes. Okay. So Schmutz and his guys will assault move to N6, Nancy 6. Yep. No fires. CX with the leader they get six, CX would give them eight. Interesting. Here Can goes the off board guys. I'm listening. Go ahead. 
Can you explain to me? I'm, I'm getting double feedback here. You are listening, uh, uh, you Caslo? Yeah. Uh, cut your sound from YouTube. Okay. Mute the YouTube uh, volume. Okay, let's try that. And it should work. Should work. Don't say it should work and then say it should work. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <Short. laughs> okay, I think I think we're good. All right. So no echoes. I can't, I, I can't see you on the Discord server, though. No, no, no. Discord server is no no visuals, just audio. Oh, okay. So just watch watch on YouTube and listen. All right. Correct. Or or watch on Basil. Same thing. It'll be the same uh, thing. Uh, I'd rather watch on YouTube. Okay. okay good enough. Good. Thank work. you, gentlemen. Sure. Of course, gentlemen. Oh, he's talking to you. <laughs> he must be in Obviously, the wrong room. <laughs> I've been called worse. Uh -huh. <laughs> gentlemen, indeed. Harumph. All right, here we go. Corporal Uhl, which means owl in German, by the way. Oh, nice. Oh, so, moving as a stack. Kilo 10 for one. Okay. Kilo 9 for two more makes three. Kilo 8 for five. Yeah, we'll take that shot. Stu and his buddies will take that shot. I just have too much firepower there not to. 12 up one, right? Uh, 12 up one, right. Oh, there you go. I'm getting, I'm getting better closer to 12. All right. What do I say about <laughs> imitation and flattery and all that stuff? Yep, there you go. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, all right. That's... I think you need to change out dice. Yeah. Change servers. Yeah, exactly. You know what we'll do? Send I... them to the locker room. Let's see what Get some more guys in the bullpen there. Yeah. Okay, so I can double time, correct? Yes. So, I just get left behind. They'll bleed out. So Unterpins and his squad will run the road for one. Mm -hmm. Two. Before and if I did this right, Stu and his guys cannot fire here because that's further than correct. the guys here. Correct. Right, so that was for four, correct? Mm hmm Five. Six. Seven. So they're done? Mm-hmm. Not about going into I five, but why risk taking a shot? Right. So it's a... Off the record, put your fingers to your ears quick. The goal is over there, of course. Right. Okay, move. All right. Let's go to L seven. Lima seven. Squad is going to attempt to play smoke into L six. Okay. So it's going to cost them two, whether they are successful or not. Correct. Correct. Roll. Nope. Okay. Well. Um, we're gonna subsequent first fire on him. All right. That'll be a six up one. Good people miss that or don't do it because you can fire on the expenditure of the MF. Okay, so yeah. six on the six is a one, right? Yeah, six on the six is a one check. Correct. Is a morale they pass? Oh, very good. You get some residuals, yes? Uh, yeah. I don't think your guys have been moving out though. <laughs> Clink is the only one that could make it there. So, but I'll put them there anyway, so that'll be too residual. Our final. Look. I spent two. It didn't work out the way it's thought up, but that's okay. So I'll spend one more. How can I assault move? Um, no, because you've already you already started moving. And I'll use normal move into N7 for one right. more for total three. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's got LOS for them. That worked out differently than I thought it would be. That worked out actually probably better. <laughs> probably better. Okay, well, chalk it up to experience there. But a six plus one shot's not too bad. Not too bad. Because if you failed the smoke, you probably weren't going to go. 
and then um, then I would have missed out the six plus one because he couldn't have fired in the defensive fire phase at that point. So. Right, that's one of the subtleties I like about this mechanic there. Yeah. Okay, so I've got one more <clears throat> grouped clink. That melee. Discard the back roads there so I can't do a swoop around down the road. They're fired out. Interesting. Okay. That changed the game a little bit. I've been thinking. I've, um, I've played this game. I'm playing this game with you. I played it with uh, another gentleman a couple months ago. And everyone seems to bring the 447s on the back roads, like the GHF access. Uh, depending on the American setup, um, they can actually enter P1, and then the Germans can have like like five squads that can slow the Americans down by just sitting in P1. And they'll still have uh, the victory conditions or the victory hexes in L3 and M4 still within range. So they can still draw 12 firepower on those hexes. That just depending on the American setup, you know, if they have like a half squad in N4, they can make it into P1 pretty easily, to be honest, and then advance fire on these units in the open. So I, oh, I misread the VCs. I think it would have changed my initial attack. But... No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I was, I was something to think was I've I've brought them in the back, and every I've I've never seen them come on anywhere else other than where we normally bring them on. You know, like I say, one of those things when I'm playing the SKs, I'm trying to really just just jump outside the box and do something completely wacko and see how it works. Hey, well, you should maybe charge like a human wave. Right. Right. Hey, no time like the present, right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Clink and one of the squads will assault move into K2. All right. Or one. They're fine. And then the other guy's assault moving to L4. All right. We'll go ahead and fire Tucker on him. Tucker factor goes up. We'll fire Any on shots? him. Yeah, from Rich. That'll be a uh, six, six even. Agreed. And a ten. Man, that's loud. <laughs> so try it. Yeah, Christine it's teaches It's nice. easy to dance to. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, that was kind of like right. a Three Stooges type. Yeah. So heads up, fellas. In about half hour, I'll have to take a break. Christine teaches at the law school tonight. No worries. We're home. Um, can I ask a quick question? Sure. Go for it. That, that last shot was even? Even. Yes. Let's go Where over it. Where were yeah, because I'm curious. Because that's L4. a stone building, right? Okay, so I've got. So what do we? What, what what type of modifiers do we have from his moving, hindrances, and leadership? So he right. assault movement L4. So right. The, so the non-assault movement does not apply. Right. It's not considered an open ground because of what? Oh, okay. That, I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I, I see now. I thought he was moving into a building. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's in okay, open ground, that... and the O5 negates the movement in the open, so yeah. he's essentially essentially even at that point. Or um, yeah. a plus one at that point, and then Rich drops it down to zero. And then, um, yeah, and then my 10 comes out, but that's okay. My, I'm saving my good rolls for the very last turn of the game. Yeah, I can tell. <sighs> so normally you'd have, let's see... You got a lot of guys. Six, two residual, and then out of hex would reduce it to one. So for form's sakes, there should be a one residual, right? Correct. Even though they can't move any further. Correct. Just making sure I'm understanding that correctly. Yeah, and that'll be like. Okay, that. I'm double checking. He's moved. He's moved. He's moved. He's. Moved. I'm done with my movement, so I'll remove residuals. Gotcha. Hey, take it away, final fire boy. Uh. Uh, I might as well take the shot because there are no snipers. Um, a plus three or two plus two. We'll do a plus three. Uh, the pin unit and the unit next to them. Hey, copy that. 
will fire at the R7 unit. Uh, I had LOS that... that you've been saving up. Yeah, and... here's my here's my here's my three. No, nope, there's my oh. twelve. There's my twelve. And wow. then um, that's it for me. There's no other fire. It's always a bummer when you cower during first fire because then the unit is done and that kind of opens up the floodgates for the other guys. So. Yeah, a twelve or a seven. Always a bad time to use yeah. your twelve. A seven to twelve is all the same. <laughs> Just, yeah, exactly. No LMGs, so nothing to break. Those those have a tendency to break quite often. An advancing fire, correct? Yep. All right, so let's start with Corporal Owl, Lieutenant Owl. So salt fire, right? Do all the half and doubling? Correct. Five becomes two and a half, up to three, add one is four. Hide, I can throw an eight, up two at you there. Right. That's not Corporal good. Five six is a one morale check. That's not good. Okay, we've got a five, a ten, and a five. One unit breaks. Oh, if I was paying attention, well, that's assuming encirclement exists in starter kit. It does not. Thinking forward, so just for quick discussion purposes, okay. I would have kept K four these unit K four. Fired these guys and then fired these guys. You would have been encircled, which maybe is another subtle kind of game changer. So just throwing uh, that out there. Actually, it would they would they would not be encircled if you had prep fired both of them. They would have been because the unit in K four would then suffer advanced fire penalties, which would be half firepower. So he'd be two chart, right? Even if he was a four chart, let's assume he was a four chart. He'd have a K five modifier. And then the plus three stone buildings would be plus four. So even if he was a four strength, say you op fire, which doesn't exist, your your roll would be a modifier plus four. But if you rolled a snake eyes to get the normal morale check, it would cower you down to the next lower chart and therefore not qualify for the normal morale check. With DMing, you have to be able to get theoretically an effect on the chart as opposed I, to. Just uh, yeah, it might be, I might be wrong on that. No, I think so. It, it must be a morale check, not just a pin. Yeah, it's got to be. Right. It's got to qualify for morale. Okay, check. thank you. I'll have to go back and study that. Yeah, it's pretty good. All it's right, a, it's a pretty good thing, and it must be consecutive, consecutive shots. Agreed. That part I'm sure of, but the other part I'll have to look up. Yeah. Okay, I'm tempted to fire into the melee, but that's always a two-edged sword. Right. But by the same token, since you got such a powerful close combat unit in there, but still a four-up three. So, we'll hold off on that. All right. By the same token, I can shoot a four, up three there. Oh, let's do it since there's no snipers, as you pointed out. Right. That's just kind of a relief. Right. Free you're to just blast free to fire. Away. You just okay. roll dice, and and the funny thing is about that, so you don't have to worry about snipers. You you uh, experience more fire attacks, and then more stuff happens instead of just snipers just ruining the whole game. Okay, all right, so here goes. Fear it. Four plus three, baby. Okay. Power. That's, that's blah, good. Blah, blah. Okay, that's how it's not done. <laughs> that's oh, man. That's a good I'd be coward on the two. I'd be a seven on the two chart. Just missed it. Yeah, just missed. Because he cowers. Only because he cowers. It is a one column shift. Had I been. Second line troops, it's a two column shift, correct? Uh, conscripts are green units without leaders. Excellent. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to switch the wheel to the route phase. I'll remove all my fire markers. Okay. First, any voluntary routes? Um, oh, I do have eight morale. Routing, I'm done. I do have eight morale. I might route that guy here in K six. To be honest with you, uh, no, he'll have to stay there. I was going to round to I six, even taking interdiction because they have eight morale. But um, 
Ah, good point. I don't want I don't want you to get in there for free, even if that guy dies in there or stays DM, at least I'll have hopefully I'll have a six chart somewhere over there. Well that's good. That's all he's gonna do. He'll stay there. But that was that's a contemplated location there in I six. Because not I'm not worried about Unterpins. He's CX he, and it's just, he's not even gonna engage me in close combat. So Alright, good deal. So your advances? Okay, turn the wheel. Alright, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I would mind having these guys in I-5 just because it has a clear field of fire. Mm -hmm. They are CX'd. Because this is unusual because I'll have a lot of guys surrounding your guys. But I need to preserve my forces. I'm tempted to put them into I-4. I think I'll do my other advances first, and then we can sort that out. So, there. Got to make you come to me. Right. We also got to have a little, some speed bumps going on. Schmutz. Back to N5. Again, kind of dilemma here. I'm gonna put those guys there just having the victory hex. Right. If you do move up, I can still get a fire group there. He's gonna hold out. Hope the war ends very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and all I'm tempted to move here, cover the road. Maybe put some fire back the way, but right now there's a good route path. I just have a range of four, one, two, three, four. Staying here would shield me from that side. Advance. So, there we go. Advance into L7. I think what I'm going to do, guys, here I'm going to put into I4, get a little protection for the orchard. Let's have some fun. Let's put Clink and his guys into the melee. Good. So that'll even it out. That'll make it a one-to-one. -one. I can taste it. And the dilemma is we need to get these guys out of the open. Do they go in to give you a one-to-two? Or should they go in? Well, I can choose my targets. I don't have to go against them all. True. It wouldn't really get. I would still be one to one, regardless of whether those guys are there. So, regardless, I think under the advice of counsel, I'm gonna move the four four seven. Actually, if you moved him in there, you'd be three to two. Do good at math. Can you tell? If you wanted the three to two, a six would be a casual reduction. Yeah, that. that's right. A good point. Thank you for pointing that out. Um. Still, let's. But it's only a three to two. It's still, that one number difference, but let's make it close from the camera. I feel a bit better about this. So if you win or reduce me, I still have guys in the area. Right. It won't be a complete loss. It'll be a pain in the butt, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's everybody. Okay. I'm going to click the move button. Okay, good deal. Now let's go to gross combat. Right. So you're a one-to-one, -one, and I assume uh, your clink is stacked with the squad? I can only assume Agreed. that. Okay. Yes, good assumption. Thank you for clarifying. There's so... no ambush, of course. <sighs> All right, so this is the part where the TV would cut to commercial break. All right. <laughs> so we'll be right, as I reach for the mouse button, right? It would go, we'll be right back after this commercial. Yeah. Da -da -da. The so one-to-one, -one, straight up fives for everybody, right? Uh... Well, five for you. I think I'm not going to go. Um, oh, I see. I made an assumption. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I'm the only person I get three to one on is the half squad. That's a guaranteed kill. And then you'd be at a disadvantage next round if we both missed. So um, I'm going to go for the sure kill. Well, I'm going to go for the higher chance kill. I'm going to go to three to one against the half squad because an eight will kill him. Because I need to eliminate units. The more units you have, the better chance you have of winning. 
Okay, so I'm gonna, here goes my, I'm one to one. Boom, shakalaka. Oh, whiff. And then a seven will kill him. So. Okay. I get a little something out of that round. Oh, I got a full squad out of the round because you gave me a 12 right at the beginning of the turn. All right. Good deal. Wow. So it's a good guy. Turn three. Good guys. Turn Agreed, three. Agreed, except for maybe the good guy part. Do you guys want me to put? Give me my my two cents worth. Yeah, sure. This at this point we uh, we uh, we encourage any and all discussion. I think I would have. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have advanced around that guy. I probably would have advanced adjacent to the the guy in K six to force him to decide if he wanted to do a final protective fire. I would have come down at, into K five and K, up at K seven. Oh, I see what you're saying. Instead of assault moving to L four, assault move to K five. Uh, so I move to K five. Decide you make the decision there, and then uh, the other guy. I probably would have moved when he uh, went in. One guy went into L seven. If you're going to take a single move and continue going, I probably would have gone into K seven to again to force you to decide what you're going to do. Uh, but the K seven would have been an advance. No, nope, no, nope, because he was in uh, he, when he threw the smoke, right? No, 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 no. The smoke guy is in N eight in N six. Oh, is it? Yeah, the leader and the two squads came from off board last turn. They moved to K8. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're okay. saying. So you wanted to surround him. You wanted to throw All a couple right. of FPFs on him. Yeah, I, I, because the, the the key is to eliminate eliminate units, right? Right. I'm a little more uh, gutsy. I'm a little more gutsy though. I play a lot, uh, quite aggressive. Right. That's it. That's it. That's that's Apparently so. A good point. I'm not. I'm cautious, and I'm thinking force preservation. It's nice to whack the Americans, but yeah, and keep them broken. I think is couples better. Yeah, I see your point. In retrospect, that might have yeah. been that might have been a better move. And the other thing is, don't be afraid of sitting just in a stone building. All right. Um, the I five, I, I put him in there because when you fire back at him, you're going to have to incur the same uh, reciprocity, right? You're going to have to fire through the the um, the orchard as well. All right. So, yeah, and I do agree with putting everybody in with uh, the close combat, for sure. It's, yeah, I was, thinking, I was thinking about you saying the reciprocity there. Yeah. But again, force preservation. And you see just thinking. Yeah, but you're in a stone building, right? Well, understood, gonna... but then I'd be, I'm CX, I'd be just one close, one hex closer to, that was my thinking. Right. But so I can't. You can... do a 9-1 leader. Right, point taken. That right. would might have been. Right. I flipped yeah, the coin and the coin said go that way. Yeah, it just depends on your objective. Is, is your objective to preserve your force or to decimate the the Americans at K6? Yeah, yeah. No, both true. Are, but yeah, if, both you, if, you can if you can clean out your back end, right, right, then the Americans have to come at you through mostly open ground. Because most of the most of the games I've Point, seen right. won are always won uh, in, in that, uh, what is it, L3 victory, or sorry, M4 victory hex. Right, so those victory hexes, those are the ones that tend to be the, the final stand. Right. Right, because your resources used in the back are getting spread out. It'd be better to concentrate for a good point. Okay. The only thing I would have different is your, like he said, your CX guy. I would have moved him where you had the clear line of sight, because it's a reciprocal plus, no matter how you look at it. The only other thing. Is I would have taken that three to two close combat up further, because even if he eliminates your half squad, at three to two odds you have a better chance. If you kill the American, it doesn't matter if he kills your half squad because now you have the chance to take over both of those hexes anyway. Right. Right. But, and uh, it's a paratrooper squad versus a half squad. Right. Right. But uh, and that's that's always a good trade. But the the difference the difference would being is if if is, is if if he forced a three to two on me then mm -hmm. I would be much better off going the one to two against all of his units. And if I got if I got a CR, it could affect more than one unit, or if I got a three or two, which is very low, very low odds, of course, it's like a 20% chance of just getting a four, then all of his units would be on the northern part, would be in, in dire straits. Most That's likely, true. most well, well, most likely since, since he went like that, you know, I couldn't go, I could go one to one versus him, 
but I want to clear those units off as soon as possible because he's got more forces to jump me in close combat later on. Next turn, he's going to be looking at 10 more firepower jumping in the hex. So it's going to be 15. Now I'm going to be a 2 to 1. He's going to have a 2 to 1 against me, assuming my guy still is remain broken in K6. And I need to, like, to, and again, that's the reason why I went for the half squad almost guaranteed kill is to, you know, half squad, you only need a half squad to win the game. They only need to occupy. They only need to be there. Yeah. And so I'm trying to reduce his numbers. And, um, but if you had forced my hand, I'm like, like Kazlo, I would, uh, I would take the aggressive and I would take the longer shot to kill all three of them, you know, three of the units. I'd probably miss, but, but, um, but you never know. I've seen everyone's seen worse. <laughs> everyone's seen worse for sure, right? So, but yeah, yeah, very good discussion on that one. Yeah, especially like say if you, if your objective is to eliminate K six, clear up your back row before the big boy comes on, which is this turn, then um that would be a good aggressive move. Uh, if I get lucky again, my final protective fire all I'll need is eights, and eight will pin myself. But um, uh, but both of those will be a, a minus one. And the shot in K7 will be a minus, at least a minus two if his salt moved. So an eight minus two is pretty rough, even with eight morale units. And it and an eight minus one versus seven morale units is pretty tough. But yeah, it's it's at a very aggressive move. It's definitely you force the American's hand because if he rolls high, then all of those units are gone. Yeah, it's it's almost like a close combat without being in close combat because at that point you'll have him surrounded and he'll just uh, fail you to route. So yeah, it's a it's a very good point. Very good point. And that's why, that's why it's a it's a, it's a decent game. That's why it's a, but he's got the problem is the, for me the the Germans have so many guys alive now, and I was hoping that he wouldn't have another guy in N six. If he had, that guy didn't make an N six, I'd have much more, uh, much better. I mean, I'd just simply move it to O six and take an eight plus two shot. That's an easy. Sh that's an easy. That's a no brainer there. But uh, now I'm staring at a, a sixteen plus three, so that's kind of rough. But we'll see what happens. I just need to. I need to, now. I need to get there. Now I need to get there. And uh, with a rally phase, hopefully we'll do that. Uh, we're gonna rally in K six. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see if I'm gonna put these guys here or somewhere else. You've got that unit over there. He's there. Get all your off-board reinforcements. Yeah, I'm gonna put him here just so he could possibly use the road bonus right. Yeah. I may have to take that chance. We'll see what happens. You have a stack there, though, Stu. No, no, no. Half squads. Oh, they? Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, that, I'm not sure why they're half squads. Maybe just for to surround oh, the enemy they... so they can't route, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I thought saw those, too. It's like, why do they give, like, four squads to this guy? So uh, we'll uh, we'll try to rally that gentleman in K6. Yeah, he's up and ready. He's up and ready to do some dish out some damage. And the bad boy in the back needs, like, a 10. Uh, one for the building, one for the leader, and so eight. Plus eight. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. I'll take the four. I'll take the guy in the middle of the guy on the right-hand side any day. No problem. Argument there. Yeah. And then no south rally for you, so we'll go straight to prep fire phase. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> it's a 12. Hmm. Wow, he has options. Unfortunately, if he moves up, you get to move across. If he moves up, you get to move across. All right. Um... He's not a problem. Don't really want to fire into the melee. I really want to kill Schmutz. But I think we might be able to not worry too much about that. Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, we're going to fire on uh, M4. Steel will fire on M4. K6 will fire on M4. Prep fire. 
Hey. That'll be a 12 plus 2. Read. That's a morale check. I'm all right. Yeah. Goes. Boom. All right. They pass. Okay. That's... that's... Yeah, I needed something better than that. All right. We may have to take a chance this game, this turn. Six plus four, six plus four, no, nothing. This is where the alternate fire table would come in handy. Um, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I'm not too. I'm not too worried about that. We're gonna go uh, straight to the movement phase. Hey. No, no more prep fire. We just need some luck right here, right here, and right now. There's a reason they call it the Aryan fire table. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so T six. Got it. I'd never heard that before. What does it mean? Okay, T6, Tango 6. Tango 6 will attempt... Um, actually, what we're going to do with T6 is we are going to simply move to S6 for 1. Assault move? No assault move, just straight up move. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Right now, I'll be able to fire at the guys who move along the road. You are correct. This is tough. My tongue's bleeding. <laughs> I know the feeling, yes. <laughs> the end run thing, but by the same token, how often do you get a four down, two shot? All right, I'll bite. Good. Don't bite too hard. Four down, two. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, tower. But you still get a decent shot. Still a decent shot on the two chart. Four becomes a two, so four on the two, I believe. And one check. Yep. That would be fine. And he breaks. Okay. You leave yep. residual if you cower. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, yeah, but it's based on your residual on your cowering firepower. So that would be one in that hex because you cowered down to two. Or you you're cowering down to two, and then half of that would be just simply one. Gotcha. Final. Okay. I broke kill. And Take your final, and your final. That's right. Hell, I don't even play Agreed. smoke anymore. Yeah, that's that's the actually more important thing to be honest with you. I knew that guy. One of those guys would break. All right. So then, uh, P five will then attempt smoke placement into P four, right above him. Neither okay. of the neither of the leaders is going to be. Stop it. Actually, the um. You should modifiers don't help smoke. Right, but uh, I if I if he assault moves, I can assault move somewhere else and cover. Uh, yeah. Uh, turn two. Actually, Rich will move with him. Rich will be moving with him. Oh uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, the eight zero will move with him. And so we're going to attempt smoke placement at P4 for two. Oh. There, there we go. That's what we'd love to see. If I could find the person with smoke. There's smoke right there. Whoosh. That's two movement factors right now. Yeah. Right, I'm out of here, over. All right. Take care, babe. Get some sleep. I say that every night. Every night it's 11. And then we'll go, uh... Well, I guess we don't really have to move. Two... No, he'll, he'll end movement right there. So these units have moved, which has not. Okay. Hey, 
A, no shots. Uh, T5. Okay, pray continue. Yeah. We'll go uh, S5 for one. R5. Stu, I think your mic is muted. R5, sorry. It yeah, was. He's back, okay. It was. S5, then R5. S5, R5. Technically, you could fire me from M4 if you wish, but you probably wouldn't. At R5, okay. and then right, four, you're there, and then four to Q6. Okay, that's okay. Let's uh, let's do it. We're going to go uh, moving as a stack. I sure hope you don't have some funky LOS there. So we'll go uh, down the road. One. Okay. Two. All right, I'll fire there. Okay. So it'll be two up two, I believe. Actually, you're down assault. For, two uh, up one. From M4? Correct. Okay. Yeah, two up one. Yeah. Two up one, correct? Correct. Here goes. Seven and there's a barely miss, okay. You there? Three. Okay. Four. There. Five. Ah, what the heck. Let's fire again. You can't. L3. Oh, from uh, M4 can't fire again. Somebody else could fire on, possibly. Why can't M4 fire? M4 has an enemy unit adjacent to him. Uh, you, you, not even that. It's the guy in K5. He's closer. Yeah. And, 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 and you're out and of normal so is range. the guy in B5. Oh, right, right, right. For some reason, that just... Yeah, and, and you're outside normal range. Worked. You can still fire outside normal range. Not in subsequent first fire. So assault fire has to be a normal range. Okay, so keep moving. Q4. One, two, three, four, okay. five. Hello, here. Smitch and company will fire. Okay. Orchard and leader wash. Non assault in the smokes. I get a four up one. Correct. Five on the Five. four. Good shot. There it is. Yeah. Damn, one morale check. One morale check. All right. Wilson. Which for Wilson. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Then we got four Steve sixes. Throws me a bone. Thank you. Top to, top to bottom. One, two, three, four. Pass, fail, pass, fail, pass, fail, pass, fail. And then uh, task checks for these guys, for the broken leader. Uh, two fives. Uh, pinned and okay. That could have been worse. Well, actually, it is pretty. Well, if I have LOS to R, not seven, it's pretty, pretty damn worse. <laughs> It's pretty bad at that point. So the uh, three three seven is pinned. Americans best. Thanks for pointing that out, guys. I, that's a good technique too. Like if you had your half squad go along the road and I pulled the trigger, there were other units there. I thought it was just moving units, but so that was a good pressure lesson there. What's that one there? As far as I was going to fire on the second time from M four, I couldn't because you had you closer. Correct. 
Yeah. You so have the to... sake of discussion, had I not been paying attention, you had a half squad go down the road. And you fired. M4 fired. That would have given you some different options. That's another one of the subtleties I like about this first fire yeah. mechanic. Mechanic. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, still. Yes, sir. That sort of that sort of touches on something we were discussing last night. If this had been full, I... I'm sorry, you cut out, Russ. Yeah, I I, I, I caught okay. it quick. That's okay. If it had if it had been full ASL, even though he couldn't take that shot, he declared it. But you could still would still have to roll the dice for the sniper results. Um, it's not a legal shot. Right. But according to the rules, if it's discovered to not be a legal shot, you still have to roll for the sniper roll. If, oh. if, if, if the if the attacker declares he's shooting, and right. you discover, oh, nope, you don't have a good shot. Well, no, no, a, a right, good, like, no it's, there's a difference between a good shot and a legal shot. Now, a good shot, but then it's blocked in LOS, which will have no effect, he'll still have to roll. Right. Right. But if he has an if that's an illegal shot, so essentially if he has a good shot and it's blocked, he'll flip over to first fire. So that's the game effect that you're looking for for snipers, right? Right. right. So because he phys he legally can't make that shot, that shot never ever occurs. Okay. 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 Yeah. There's a yeah. That's a good. That's a there's a that's a very minor distinction, but that is true. That is true. Now, had we had we not had we screwed that up, right? And he got that shot. And then a sniper happened, and two turns later, or two phases later, we said, "Oh yeah, can't can't do that." That's where the uh, A point two comes involved, and you can't go back and make changes. From right, it. right. That's just normal play, which you can't ever go back. Otherwise, no ASL game will ever be finished. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, but yeah, since that it was an illegal shot, it cannot be taken. Okay. But if we both missed it, he could take it all day long. Hell, he could fire to twelve hexes for all, for, for for that purpose, you know. So yeah. damn, that guy was gonna put some pressure on. I think that just cost me the game there. I, unless they can, they're only gonna make it challenging. That's for sure. That was a lucky break. Yeah, I literally that. and figuratively. I, I needed that, and yeah, they're up shit creek. To be honest with you, I think there's LOS to R seven, which will. Uh... Yep. All right, no problem, no worries. And uh, the only other person to move left is Rich. Rich will just assault move to uh, Q7. Actually, okay. screw it. He's going to stay right where he is. He's going to stay right where he is. He'll have to fire later. He's going to fire later with the 747. I don't need to move until after I use his firepower. At least I got my smoke. The, the, the smoke worked. I yeah, mean, I got well played. Beautiful. I'm happy with the smoke. I expected somebody over here to be broken. No problem with that. Um, of course, the unit in U six would be great to be <laughs> great to be alive at this point. You'd help out a lot, but that's that's the way it goes. The game's not over yet. So uh, that's it for my moon phase. You may continue with your defensive fire phase. All right, let's start over here, Lieutenant Owl. And a fire will throw it. Eight up two at you there. Yep. Oh my god. Battle five, six, seven. One morale checks all around. Yeah, these are bad. Okay, uh, seven, seven, seven. I need those in the other chart. I'd rather have that guy break in my nine minus two alive. That's all good. It's all good. I'll take him. I'll take him. He will be the backbone of my fight. It's this guy. Same or adjacent. I'm not going to fire into the melee, so he's done. I'll flip that one. Aim, they're done. Penalties final. They're not going to fire. Okay, so that's it for defensive. I'm going to switch it to advancing. I remove my markers. Okay. It's just gone. All right, we'll take a. Uh, we'll fire the broken stack of. Uh, Leaning tower of broken units. Q4 will fire on M4. That will be a uh, four plus three. Spray and pray. Good luck. Six not. And then Rich will fire uh, the same thing on N5. Rich in the uh, squad okay. beneath him. Alrighty. 
no effect and that's it for advance fire route phase phase next phase oh my gosh okay okay um s6 let's let me let me see how let me get all these moves going boom and get rid of the prep fires okay s6 will go to uh he's going to route to hold on he has to see if he's got los yeah, he's got ls m4 so he can't route that direction all right well i guess it saves him he'll route back to this leader back here Good. and then uh, you got to keep is that is that a building hex that is a building hex okay yeah and then uh, I have to check LOS to R7 to see if I could route down. And that is clear. So the pin unit's not going to move anymore. Uh, route phase and the advanced phase. So actually we only have two units. Three units. What are your options at this point? I'm guessing this has to be your declared target? No, it can't be. P1. I can declare P1 as my target, even uh, though it's the same distance as M4. It's actually the closest in MF, but it, but it's no. It's all right, you are. But I can no, P1's closer. Yeah, P1's closer. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. P1. But I can disregard sure. P1 because it's no further from M4 than my present location, so I can disregard that. Yep. Yep. But U3. So you have the option of either low crawling, or U3. facing interdiction. Correct. Yeah. yeah. U3 is garbage. I can't go to U3. U3, the game will be immediately over. So um, we are going to route to, uh, we're obviously going to route individually. So uh, damn it. This is why I, sh ah, I should have moved the leader Q5. That's an error. And that's why I shouldn't have moved the 8-0. Okay. All right. That's a bad error. Um, I shouldn't have moved the 8-0 with a 747. That way I could have at least moved him there and just leave all those... Bro uh, I have to move the broken units back one, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. All right. We are going to um, uh, route to Q7, or Q3, rather. So we need a Mirage check. And he's gone. And the squad will it, move there as just, well. He, all right. That's, a, that's the half squad, right? Yeah. And he'll go there, and then go to uh, one, one. Actually, he can't. Can he go there? Uh, one five. One, two, three, no, he can't even go there. That's not even a route destination. They have to go. Have to go back to U three. And that crazy. That's not even a legal route destination. They'll just look all here. You can go to. You can go to. P1. No, no, no. It's within four hexes of L3, and I'm five hexes away from L3 because I think I've L. I think I've LOS to L3. Well, your closest. Where's your closest? Your closest one is one, two, three. What is P1, right? Right, but but the range to L3 from the broken units okay. is five, and then from uh, the, once I get there, it's four. So that actually be routing closer to the enemy unit. Right, five uh, now yeah. for the. Got it. I was just looking yeah, at. Yeah, I was just looking at the M4. Light yeah. four. Got it. Okay, good yeah. catch. Because that's still an enemy unit. Yeah. Unless yeah, it's, it's good order. Area. Unless it's good order. But No, because you can't you can't road any closer to even broken guys. Right. You can stay adjacent, you can stay you you can actually stay in the hex of broken guys. Yes. So yeah, true. you can't. And I'll just uh, I'll just kill off the half squad because that's you know, either way. I'm not worried about that. Those guys have to look all there. He's pinned. And then that's not gonna give me any firepower. You know, correct me on. You could repeat that some... last. I think it cut out again. Yeah, I did. I um, if those guys are in melee. They're still known. Right. Yeah. There's still enemy units. No enemy units. Yep. 
Yeah, you can't route towards, bro. Yeah, oops. All right. So who made it and who died then? Well, the half squad was was routing. Well, technically, as long as you could reach your destination, I could have gone to Q3 and then go back one, two, three, four, five, six. So technically, Q3 is a legal route location, and right. that's what because then that, I could just choose that path to go back to U3. And then he just died there. So it's not really an illegal move. It's just an awkward. <laughs> it's just an awkward move. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, you can't. See, but but now this is the, this is the distinction between the good order and the uh, non good order units. If they were broken, let's say they're broken in N. At, no one else has LOS to them except for the units in melee, and they're in open ground. They don't have to route because that's not a good order enemy unit in normal range. Pardon me for interrupting. I'm going to put you on mute. Christina's home. I'm going to call a 15 minute break. Please just do your routes, do your advances. Yeah. And I'll be yeah. back in about 15 and then, we get, and then we have some discussion. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. Thanks, guys. Be back in a bit. Okay. Nothing like ESL by committee. Yeah, that's not bad. And that's what that's what I'm doing this for. So we all iron some things out, have an open game, and have just so throw questions out there because weird things happen during the game. The weird decisions happen during the game. Like the never moving stacks. Well, I have a nine morale unit and the best shot he's gonna get is like a four plus one. And I'll take that all day. I mean a one morale check, that's an eight. I pass that sixty percent of the time. And I, I'm at this point I have to take that chance. You know, I don't want to run one guy down there CX because then he's not going to do me any good in fire opportunities. That's the chance I had. I wanted to take, like just like your chance on K five K seven. Not the best, not the best choice, but I'm willing to live and live and lose with it. Well, you better be right. That's the whole point. Exactly, exactly. So I can't, I can't knock myself too much. But again, I honestly, my <laughs> I just got finished playing S six against Peter uh, against Pete. And uh, my 9 minus 2 actually did nothing in that game. He had a medium machine gun on him, broke it, and destroyed it as soon as he fired it. And then he got killed in close combat when a half squad jumped him in a full squad. So well, I, was, I, I, I was playing uh, uh, Kangaroo Piper, and I, had, I, I moved into a hex with three American squads with one SS squad. I, I went, eh, you know what, I'm going to go two to one. Yeah. <laughs> Real snake eyes. I, I rolled snake eyes, took out two squads, got myself a nine one leader, and then jumped out of the hex. Yeah, jumped out of the hex. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Now did you um did you ambush him? No. Okay. Um did he take a shot on you? Was he first or uh, second shot? Uh he would have been I, I moved into him. Um, or maybe did I? Maybe I did get ambushed. Maybe no. You're right. I did get ambushed because okay. I, I was. Yeah, and then you killed and then you win. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Those are always fun. <laughs> Those always make them mad. Free kills. Well, it was it was it was two two full squads and a ten two leader. Wow. And when I took him out, he was. And then, I, like I said, I got I got uh, a leader out of the deal as well. He spent the rest of the game stalking that particular unit and that particular leader. He didn't care anymore whether he won or not. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to make him make a decision. Hopefully one of these guys will get a shot off. Actually, if we throw Rich here, yeah, we're going to we're going to do that. And then I'm contemplating moving to K5. Just so the other unit just can't walk into those buildings. Again, I'm not worried about a four even shot. He needs to roll like a six. That's going to happen like maybe a third of the time. Keeping that 548 out of that melee, and it gives me one more hex closer to being able to where I need to be. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about the, the 548, or it's not going to do any damage to me. That's going to be a 4 plus 1. So, I just have to hope, I just have to hope that the guy on the bottom can't see me. And, uh, he, there's no, there's no way. I'm gonna advance. He'll be there. chasing you. Yeah, it's okay. If he does, he's gonna have to chase first. He'll probably save it for the last movement, but but I can still blast him. I can still blast him if he wants to cross the road. So essentially, that might bait him to coming over to K six instead of dropping smoke and running over to N six. 
I mean, I could split these guys up, but you know, I want I want the massive firepower. I want the uh, I want the twenty chart, twenty four chart. They're, as long as they're together, they're fire grouped. Right. 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 Uh, or or if you put them beside each other, it's still fire group. You don't get the leader, but still. Right. Right. But the only person that can the, the honest threat would be Yule. Of course, you got mm -hmm. Schmutz on the right hand side, but if you fire Schmutz, Schmutz is going to be obliterated by the guys next to him. So Schmutz is going to have to make a decision whether he wants the wants the free shot, or get obliterated by these guys. And uh, these guys, hopefully, in the back. With both those guys rallying in the back, I might have a chance. But they have to rally this turn. Yeah, the other seven four seven in the back. I would means I would have it four in the village right there. That's going to be pretty tight. But it's okay. The four six seven is not going to be. He'll be the four six seven is just going to fire on the nine minus two leader. And so the guys on the right hand side will not be DM'd during my turn. I anticipate that. So, but you never know. You never know. But yeah, man. Yeah, that's pretty rough. But just to make it interesting, like I said, I don't want to have to wait until the last turn to rush him because that's not going to work. Ten minute warning. No worries. Close them up the front door. Yeah, you can't even route closer to a broken enemy unit. So yeah, it was kind of um I had set up for the tabletop simulator because I thought um Dennis had it. And um I'd put all the units on the board on that one. But um I'd forgotten that he had it. Two of my other opponents have it. And we play we're playing on those right now. Those are pretty that that's like I said, I love the interface. The interface is really good. You can see the hexes more. You can blow the hexes up on there, and, and so you can see what terrain they're in all the time. I always have to peek into the terrain to make sure I, I see what's what's where. Actually, this unit can move forward. Um, yeah, we're going to advance them forward, to be honest. And this pin is removed. And now I barely have a one-to-one, -one, unfortunately. All right, seven, ten and a half. Oh, I got th I have a three to two on him. Uh, no, no, no. I lose, no, I lose no, it by half a half a firepower. I need a half a yeah. firepower. That's right. Yeah, half factor, yeah. Half firepower. That's okay. He's one to two. Now I have a slight advantage. This turn only. This turn only. It's eight to a five. Yeah, we're losing about the same amount of number of units per turn, to be honest with you. It's kind of odd. He lost a, he rolled a 12 at the beginning of the turn, uh, last turn, to when he was trying to rally a unit, so he just killed himself. And then we both lost a squad and a half in turn two. I think from close combat or something, something or another. So, so have you ever thought of, of, of using what somebody calls it the uh, best sniper, uh, sniper heat of battle and bypass? Um, uh, snab or something. I've ever heard. Oh, in to. in SK. Yeah. No, I no. I mean, what you we. I've kind of gotten over missing those, right? And so, simply because a lot of these scenarios force you to do things like this. The, I want to make sure this is a five-turn scenario because I moved the thing down. I think it's a five-turn scenario. But um, the reason why I, I'm not I'm not missing, especially the snipers. The snipers are too random. So if it's, it's supposed to be a kind of, quote, a fun game and, you know, introducing players... The sniper rules aren't too bad. I mean, it would have to add probably another, you know, column or so of rules. Um, but just simply because, you know, if let's say you lose a leader early, right? Just from a random sniper roll, which we all have, then you'll have fewer opportunities to see what that leader can do in the regular game. 
you know so you'll have like i was telling dennis you know even even if you're taking a two plus two two plus two shot or a four plus three shot you're firing more often so you're rolling the dice more so the only thing you can do is get a positive effect and and it also teaches you that four plus three are very bad rolls and so it's very ineffective instead of just looking at a chart it's like well how often can i really get that roll you know and as as you roll an entire game four plus three four plus three four plus three it's like okay now i need to combine into fire groups or get closer for point blank fire or change up whatever i'm doing add a leadership modifier to it and if snipers are kind of bouncing around as a snipers are extremely uh just a random thing that's thrown into the game and um pretty much your if the snipers if they've got a low sniper roll then you're penalized for rolling well and so that might not sit well in a player that's trying to enter the hobby. You know, in any other game, you roll low, you roll well, you're never penalized for it. You're never penalized for it. So you always get something positive out of, like, you know, Snake Eyes. Even if you cower, Snake Eyes is pretty good because it's still going to be a one morale check on most charts unless you're, you know, conscripts or something like that. So you'll always get something positive out of it. And the snipers just add a negative effect to your good fortune. And um, that might sit sour with some players. I mean, I mean, it sits sour with ASL players. You know, you lose your nine minus two leader in the first turn because some guy rolled a task check, doing some random thing, and your nine minus two gets popped. You know, uh, for whatever reason, even if you protect him with eighty five thousand half squads like some guys do. But um, but you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's a game, but I don't want to game the game. You know, that much to that extent. You know, uh, it is right. It's still random. The the direction that he goes is random. As long as you have some guys close to you, you know where he's going to land is. You know, as long as you keep the hex rows kind kind of weird, kind of wonky, you'll be all right. But the bypass, um, the bypass simply because most of the boards in um in this game, most of the games are like five turns long, five or six turns long. Um, bypassing would essentially you'd be able to move across the board in one turn. So at that, at that point, you the games will probably be over like on turn three instead of at the end of the game. You know, you know, but nail biter down to the end, you have to, you have to move from, I mean, essentially you're just slug festing. You have to get in position. You'll get in position on, in one or two turns at maximum, you know, and then you just slug it out to see who has the most firepower. And especially like in a game, like I was just thinking about today, um, I was watching a replay of um, S6 uh, released from the East, and the guy said they were doing some replays alive. They were just discussing uh, the end of the game. The Russians had that center building. And uh, he said, you know, I just brought all 14 guys on and just essentially bum-brushed all your units in there. And he had, like, maybe three or four units in there. I'm not exactly sure how he had it set up, but they didn't say what type of German units were there. But at that point, he just kind of bum rushed the building, and just took him over. But I think if you set set too far back, um, yeah, you know, it's it's it it's that's what makes it a good game. But if you, like I say, if you if you added, if you simply added like human wave in that specific scenario, because the Germans have to decide what they're going to cover. If the if the Russians call coming in one section, they just human wave turn up turn after turn, and the Germans just get overrun, for the most part, until you run into the medium and the nine minus two. But um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think it'll make ASL players more comfortable by adding those things in there. But but the concealment's a big thing to to miss. But you know, in a five player game, if all these guys were concealed in the middle, it'll take you two turns to get that concealment off of them, pretty much, because the number of units you have is limited. So but don't you don't you, I, I, from a lot of the ASL uh, the Star Kid stuff that I've watched. A lot of it ends up being, you now maybe it's just the players, but uh, just a slugfest, right? They stand off and they you know, beat each other up. There's right. very little uh, attempt to maneuver. It's just they're going to stand off and, and throw as much firepower down downfield as you can. But that's okay. Yeah, that, but that's okay. Especially in starter kit one, that's okay because it's just all infantry, right? A couple scenarios have like demo chargers, a couple LMGs here and there, but nothing real over the top. So... Um, it's just a matter of, it's like the first two scenarios of the old squad leader game. They were just slug, they were just shooting across the street and blowing people up in buildings. 
they were just slugfests, and then they added a little bit of armor in scenario three, which didn't do a lot because there was that much armor. I think there were just a, three or four armor units per side. Yep. And then scenario four was all infantry. Uh, scenario five, hell, I don't even know what scenario five is. But, four head trucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, it just adds a little bit in there. And so with the starter kits, I think they did it kind of well, to be honest with you. Starter kit one's all infantry. And so you want people to enjoy slugging it out, learning first fire, learning route pass. I mean, even now, like I say, with, even with ASL players, that's still an issue. That's still an issue with ASL players is, is can I fire – this machine gun here uh, how many fire lanes do you actually see in some of your games i mean it depends on who you're playing of course but um even some aslers um are still learning or still make mistakes on certain things of the game that are considered fundamental and which is normal which is going to happen you know if you're just playing mm -hmm. for fun you just you want that slugfest but um you know for the for if you're a casual gamer you know, I think a hardcore war game, or if you played a whole bunch of the hardcore war games, things like that, and you don't want to delve into the ASL thing, but of course, I, I really don't think it's too much of an issue because, you know, when all of us started ASL, to be honest with you, about the first eight pages of Chapter A is really all you need to know because it goes over all the phases, goes fire attacks, and things like that for the most part. So it gets you to introduce the entire, what the game is about. And then the rest of it's just chrome and, you know, chapter B is just terrain, you know, 80% of that's never used, you know, in your, in your particular games, you know, blockage and weird things like that. I mean, you got beer buildings and, and first and second level buildings. And, um, but that's not, that's not a problem. You know, some people, again, some people still have problems with LOS and, uh, you know, ASL start kit one, it's all flat. You don't have to worry about being tiered and things like that. And so that's one less thing to have to worry about. And just stick to the fundamentals and pound it in game after game. After. There's only six. Well, they've added some other scenarios. Technically, seven, eight scenarios that go with Star Kit One that I know of. Um, that you just you just pound those same fundamental fundamental rules: moving, uh, maneuvering, and even if it's just slugfest. And uh, I don't know if you were here when I was discussing, you know, um, uh, entry sites for these four four sevens. You know, up in L three and L and uh, M four. Everybody, including myself, bring them on the I-1, G-1, H-1, hex rows, right? And they come back here in the buildings and they and they do their thing like they're doing now, right? Mm -hmm. And that's all fine. And that's all fine and dandy. I have no problem with that. But that's that's safe. And that, but everyone does that. But um, depending on the American setup, because the American setup in is in N3, N4, I think M5 and L5. If he sets, and this is what I went over in my um. In my setup of, of analyzing the setup in this particular scenario, it makes a difference on where you set your units up. Even though it's just those four hexes, people just, oh, just, I'll just throw them down and, and put the leader here. We're just going to move buildings. Well, if you put the half squad in N4 and not a full squad, if you put the half squad in N4, the Germans can move all of his units into P1 almost unscathed. Almost unscathed. So they go Q1, you move one squad into Q1, and then P1. So so the uh, N4 unit, which is the half squad, if he's a half squad, uh, will fire one minus two. Or just assault move at that point. You just assault move if you, if you don't want to even take it. So probably that's what you do. You just assault move in Q1. Uh, the unit N3 can't see you. M5 most likely can't see you. And L5 probably can't see you either. So you only have one unit that can fire on Q1. You enter Q1 and throw all three units. In, well, I, I would, for me, I would move in there. Boom, boom, straight up. And that way, on turn one, I can advance fire on N3 or N4 at 6 even with my 12 firepower. And then I'd have... I'm just going to put a stack of units. And then I'd have my... Okay, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Yeah, no worries. Let me let me click on these real quick. Hold on. Boom, boom, boom. And then i have... Come on, I didn't select that. Oh, there you go. That's and... been a busy week. I'm busier than a one-armed conscript in a Panzerschreck finding contest. Oh, there you go. There you a go. Panzerfaust. So, um... If 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 the Germans come on here, and I've never seen it in any of the scenarios, they might go in the, the wheat fields. If they come on here um, with their three squads and their leader, and they could put their leader back in N0 if they wanted to, but I'd probably just put them in there just so they don't cower. Then they, then you have the unit like uh, Dennis has in R7, 
you could run Schmutz and the other 467 in Q6, or for that matter, you could run both those units into Q6. So now instead of just having two squads defending against the American onslaught, now you have five squads and just use these only to the delay. And then you have five five four eights that have to deal with the guys in the middle, and the five four eights only have to occupy one of those hexes. So how, how many Americans are, are on the board at the start? In, uh, in the open, three full the squads, open. three full squads, and one half squad. So you're looking at twenty four. You're looking at twenty four up, three shot, or at, at worst, right? Twenty four up, three shot at P one. Yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's two of those units will be out of range. Uh, uh, okay. Well, then, okay. There'd be what. Uh, I guess, and, well, it would depend then. But yeah. you're still looking at, you're probably looking at a 16, 12 to 16 shot. Um, I'm not willing to worst, risk my entire uh, reinforcement base on that. Yeah. I, think that, I mean, I, it's I also, think, quick if I'm wrong, the Americans have to set up in separate hexes, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the idea being they're in column. Right. But you can still fire as a fire group, right? Right. But see, two, but, but one, two, you would get the full thing. So you'd have, you'd have seven, eight and a half. You'd have a you'd have twelve firepower. That'd be a twelve plus right. three shot. Because I don't think L five is LOS to P. Well, we can string. No one's going there. He doesn't have L, he doesn't have LOS there. So you'll have three units. The leader won't matter because he can't do multi right. multi location fire group. So if you move into Q one, the N four unit, if it's a half squad, will fire on him most likely. Oh, that'd be a one minus two shot. I mean, if you don't fire on him, then you'd have to suggest that. All these just couldn't P1. Because if you're off board in Q1, and if he doesn't fire on them, then you say, okay, he might do a fire group. I could just move, you know, five hexes to the left and then advance on and come in a K2 area. You can kind of bait him that way. Or you can, you could, I wouldn't go too far on the right-hand side, but that's still a possibility as well. I mean, imagine imagine three squads in U3. What are the Americans going to do then? I mean, they, they, at that point, they're forced to come into the stone buildings. And then you could only that at that point you only have to worry about you can just forget about the ones in the back, uh, just worry about the N five. I just like to see a little bit different thing on that, and you never know. It's like it's like this one here. I've got a lot of units coming up. I took a I took a good shot, and most of my stack disintegrated. If they didn't disintegrate, I'd have, you know, three squads right up in his face, and it would it would change the complex of the game. I just, it's, like I say with starter kit, what I'm doing with the starter kits is just trying really weird, taking chances and see where you can get from them. You know, and again, at that point, at that point, when you're, when you're taking the odd chance, you're making the other player make decisions. Okay, is this a good decision or should I wait? But if you just, if like, if if you if you go, if you kind of could revert to the jump and still buildings, jump and still buildings, we'll fire at each other until somebody breaks. That's a slugfest, and that's really not decision making. That's just rolling dice. Yep. Whereas, whereas, if you find out that that happens to work. And 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 you can look at it and say, okay, I don't think he has LOS or whatever like that. Then you might take that chance because you're going to advance fire at six even, and that's the best shot you're going to get. Six evens is is, uh, is better than twelve plus three. Mm -hmm. And so your first shot out of that hex is going to be a twelve plus three. And then most likely the typical American re reaction is to scatter, throw a couple guys in the L three L M four, and the other two guys will go in the other hexes. And that's why I want to do something differently in this game with Dennis is move my leader and two squads into K K six, and hopefully delay him from coming on. It, it, it kind of I, I got one broken unit and I got essentially a squad out of the fight simply by moving one unit those two guys there. And, and as you guys pointed out earlier, I spent a lot of time and resources back here. I right. think the assessment of should have just and so beat on them as much as possible to crush that. To allow those resources here, the idea we can fall back a little bit. So right, and that was my whole plan was to do this turn. He had to get in a K six, which was a chance. But if he got in there, essentially he's going to be a thorn in the German's ass uh, because if he just moves forward, then it becomes the across the street slug slugfest. And I think the five four eights can win that because the Americans seven morale. I think they can win that. I'd have to agree with that. And so uh, if I'm there, he has to he has to kind of split his forces and take different avenues of approach. He's almost forced to come into these stone buildings down here in L7, which is further away from objectives. Yeah, he's got a couple more turns of move in there. That's fine. But everyone's reinforcements come on turn and turn and turn and turn. And, um, you know, just as the game goes, uh, I'm trying to move, you know, I've got, 
I'm, I'm satisfied where I am now. Do I want more units up in the front? <laughs> yeah, I think everyone would. But uh, but that's just the way it goes, and you just got to go with what you, with what's working on. That's the and that's the risk I'm taking here, is I'm forcing him to make tough decisions this turn instead of simple decisions at the end of the game because I need to get those guys out of the building, and I'm not going to get them all out of the building. I'm not going to clear four buildings on turn five. It's not going to happen. So I need to clear buildings like this turn or stop guys from getting to those buildings and I have to take chances simply because my nine minus two decided to cower in the face of a second line troop <laughs> shooting at him. But that's the way the ball bounces, you know. Yeah, ninety day wonder. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So but I'm I'm happy with my position. It makes a more interesting game. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good game. But uh hopefully these buttheads over on the right hand side will rally. That's what I want. So uh, but yeah those are my advances. Um Dennis K5 in the orchard. You in Q6 move to P6 in case you weren't there. And the other guys, of course, just move up in front of your face. Acknowledged. Just in just in case you uh, those are those are guys that move somewhere. So it is your rally turn four. No, you've got a, a uh, melee. Oh yeah, yeah, melee. That's right. That's why I left yes. on close combat. Absolutely. <laughs> that's that's the big red counter right there. Yeah. yeah. That's and that's what I'm waiting on, waiting on before I go to bed. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry to let you know. No, that's okay. That's okay. So we got a close combat. I've got a one to one by a half firepower. Unless you want to, unless you could allow my assault fire to round that up, Dennis. So you give me a three to two. I'll take it. I'll take a three to two. But if if you don't want to be a nice guy, I'll just have to take the one to one. Okay, one to one. Because I was an offer. Yeah. Clink being a very clever reference would at least that's a three times multiplier to his firepower, which should give me three for the seven to one to one. Yeah, that's okay. You give me three to one, I still missed. <laughs> yeah, watch here comes the twelve. Yeah, no, no, there's no twelve. You'll kill him this turn. I'm confident. Okay, so you're one to one, and I'm one to two, correct? Cor correct. All right, here goes mine. Oh, I saw the one right. first. Like, oh my god, no! Stay alive! Stay alive! Six. There's a BG song in the work. Ah, ah, stay, <laughs> stay alive, alive, stay. But uh, disco, no, forget it. We'll move on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So bad right, guy. Well, that, that, uh, yeah. Thanks for letting me join in. Um, I hope to catch up with you guys uh, later on. I'll certainly watch the rest of this uh, sometime tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Likewise, all definitely. right. Take care, guys. Take care. We'll talk take, soon. Yeah, take care. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. So um, that's the that? that's the rally. In that uh, no no rallies. In that. So I've, I have um, all that you have a self rally. And that's about it. Ooh, here goes. Good deal. Oh. That was easy. Yeah, Too easy. Us. Too easy. So I've got uh, some, you know, I'll rally the units on the right hand side first. He needs another 10. He rolls a 3. And the unit beneath him needs a 6. Oof. Too bad it's not in the back. I should have. So he rallies. Good with that. Break's gone. And the nine minus two in the open ground needs something really low. Uh, that's not it. Okay. And that's it for my rallies. You're choky, and I think we'll move on to prep fire. I was thinking about reversing those and doing the DM guy first. I both would have rallied. That'd been nice. Oh, you should have, because then oh, we'll I've been so sweet. That back in action. That'd been sweet. Yeah, welcome to woulda, coulda, shoulda land. <laughs> right? Yep. Red J. Right, the first, I think the best use of this guy about see if it gets you to r5 then into 06 just to kind of limit your route options but your big leader out in the field there doing the elbow knee thing i i gotta do that just to keep a dm yeah so i'm gonna fine. throw a four even at you no worries chuck lock no effect but Now, that stack getting broken up gives me a little more flexibility here. So I'm thinking about throwing a 20, three at one of your stacks. Actually, it would be more than that. 20, three at three, or 
Oh. Let's go again. Is there CX? I got a curveball planned for you, but that's in the moving phase. All right, here's the plan. I'm announcing a fire group. Nancy mm -hmm. six, Nancy five. Leader is not directing. He's going <clears> to <throat> lead. Excuse me. Shoot at 06. How about a 20 up three? Um, 18. Oh, hell, that's a first line squad. You passed the test. You were paying attention. Okay, like I said, 16 up three. Hey, no worries. Seven and three is a ten. We're all check. Yeah. Yes. It off. Okay. Well, definitely needed that this turn. Yeah, twenty is a little bit more oomph to it for whatever reason. <laughs> for whatever reason, does. twenty charts are more oomph. Yeah, okay. Well. Said these guys. Well, I'm gonna get rid of these green, obnoxious hexes while you're thinking. Thank God that person developed the black hex thing. These are just obnoxious. Green ones. Yeah, they should have a volume control button. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's go back. Mike. So that was fortunate that he survived. Very fortunate. Wow. Best way for this guy to re survive to get back into melee is to stay in that building, we think. So, this goes my last shot. Second line will shoot a four, even gotcha. at your half squad out there. Gotcha. Okay, Russ, no problem. It'll be on it'll be on YouTube, so check it out and um yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah, nice talking, Russ. Thanks, Thanks for dropping for by, Russ. Up. Thanks for dropping by, Russ. Well, been... Hope to talk to you soon. Four, one, two, three, four, even. There's nothing. All right, then let's move it. Boom. Yeah, and that might give you All right, here's one of those use the force movements moments. All right, that half squad feeling guilty that they were cowering in the woods back there. <laughs> After he's dead out. All right, they're going to go CX. Okay. Woods, one, two. All you. Four. All you. The chariots of fire music, five. Okay. Six. You're fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. CX. All right here goes. Hauptmann Unterpins was there for one. Okay. Two. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty blocked. Three, hold on a sec. Man, hold on. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Q4 will take that shot because he's got no one else to fire at. Oops. Just barely. Oh, wow. I thought it would clip it, actually. All right, so that's a one minus two. Oh, there's where you roll your. Okay. Uh, no effect. Almost got a pin. The pin was so good. busy looking here. I've did, kind of discounted those guys. Yeah. A pin would have been nice. Hold Isn't on. That a my... song by Smash Mouth or something. Uh, hey now, you're half squad. Get your game on. <laughs> Fire away. Hey now. All okay. right, you know where I'm going with this, right? Oh yeah. I think we have your next assignment. Oh, I hate that song, though. <laughs> I hate okay, that song. forget about it. <laughs> I hate that song. That's okay. All right, All right, we'll work on... You got me under DM. Yeah. All right, so scratch the smash mouth. Now, question is... Is Ool going to fly the coop? Let's see, are we going to swoop down for death and destruction? Oh, but here's a plan. We're going to do the eggs in the basket assault move to K7. Okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, that's a big fat building. None of those guys are going to see you. No one else can see you. All right, you good? Assault move there? Oh, good. All right. That'll work. That will work. So it's good guy, a good guy, defensive fire face? Is. I'll remove residual. Turn the wheel. Wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Definitely. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's start out with uh, Reggie on the right hand side. Now that that unit has rallied, he's excited to enter combat. First, first bullets fired from those paratroopers. Uh, he'll fire a 6 plus 2 at R7. Okay. I'll just put it on top. No effect. No Holy worries. Cow. This guy's done. All those guys are going to have a blast on those guys there. What does Stu do with his entourage? His entourage. That will be 8, 9, 10, 13, 14. That will be a 2 to 1 minus 1. That will be a two to one minus one. Calling Metropolis a Fairfield. Okay. This is the question. <clears throat> and I think I know what the answer is. Everyone breaks an L3 when I fire up on it. Okay. They don't route until next turn, right? Well, you'll jump in the middle. Uh, Will you have to roll for ambush again? Because as soon as all those units are broken, the close the melee ends. That I don't know. Um, if they break, it ends the melee. Then yes, they have to route. But the route phase is next turn, so you guys can still advance on them. All right. Um. So that's what that's what that's what's going to happen to them anyway. But if they, that's what I was trying to think. So if I break those guys, because they could route to they could route out to M three because nowhere else at P one is the only safe hex. They'd have to route M three and then M two. But it's no worries. It's not going to make a difference. So I'll choose a separate target. Let's start out. Um, let's start out the obvious ones here. Let's go. Uh, we're going to split all this. We're going to go. Uh, there's um, seven, seven, and fourteen. Fourteen, twenty-one. Twenty-one on N six. Twenty-one plus three. 
Well, it's not as much fun as you can shot back at. So <laughs> nine. Nine on the one is a one check. Right. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. Oh, okay. touche. And it will fire 12 plus 2 adjacent from Rich. Uh, clone that. Nine. It's a pin check. Uh, Marat check, actually. Check. 12 check. Marat check. Um, no, no. Pin check. It's because of 10. All right. Pin Schmutz check. taking the pin check. It's good. Other guys. All right. Wow. Piece of cake. Point blank. Nobody does anything. All that firepower. Those are some big columns. I think so. Everything's, I think everyone's doing the stick the submachine gun through the window. Wow. Reach up or over to the side kind of thing. All right. We'll go. Uh, Steel will fire on Schmutz. 12 plus 2. That's a no brainer. I don't even know why I'm thinking. What? I don't even know why I'm thinking about that. That's gonna. There's a good. That's roll. gonna hurt. So five on twelve. That's a two, isn't it? That's a two check. All right here goes Schmutz taking a two morale check. Breaks does not ELR. Squid. Ugh. Passes. But now, well, that's three threes I've rolled on the morale checks. Good job. So now here's the test check, right? Right. So if they fail, they're pinned. Correct. Correct. In the pinned. Man. Huh? You were one five away from just straight up dying. It's not true. It was just. One five Didn't away. think they'd survive that long. I thought there'd be some more serious blastage right there. But... Yeah. It's okay. It makes it, it makes it a little easier because if they break, it's going to be hard for them. Harder for the harder for them to ride. Not necessarily difficult. It's completely impossible. So that is it for my defensive fire phase, advanced fire phase. Almost, almost had him. All that firing going on. One, one, literally one guy broke. Uh. Oh. X half squad can't even get a, a result. Oh, you're in the orchard. Never yeah. mind. All right. Hey, yeah, that's a shot. That's a legit shot. I'll thumb my nose in the air. There's no snipers here. Ha, 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 ha. Two plus one to get shot. I thought you were in a building. Yeah, I'll take it. Two up one. Boom. A nine. Is he puffing and panting? The fire. My guys are spent. I'm going to call that done for advancing fire. Heal. Let's do the route thing that we do. All right, so what happens to our illustrious... Not right back here because I'm getting close to a guy. Right. He just, uh, he's eliminated for failure to route. And that's why that, if that other guy broke, he'd be gone too. There. <clears throat> Excuse me. Artie Johnson from Laughing, you remember that? Very interesting, but also stupid. <laughs> Good part of Laughing. Here come to judge. Come to judge. Okay, we're thinking about that. Okay, I am done routing. Over to you. Okay, I have uh those units can route. They're gonna low crawl, just S three. Actually, um S4 is not closer. They're going to low call it S4. Uh, or do I have to be moving away from you for the low crawl? I think same route rules apply to low crawl, except that you can't be interdicted. So the same towards near switch of building hex 
as to not to increase the number of hexes, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, all right. So use them automatically. Oh, right. One thing to note on that, Dennis, ah. um, it doesn't happen all that often because most people route away. You did not need to fire on R3 to put them under DM. As it being in the open ground. Open ground with a normal range ah. of, of an enemy unit. Because nobody ever stays in open ground just does the one hex thing. They always route to a certain thing. They always route, so it rarely comes up. Good point. Yeah, that hardly ever happens, but yeah. I didn't that's think... true. So I guess that would have happened. I guess maybe I was rolling just see if I get a lucky shot. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, good definitely. Point. Break the nine minus two leader. I mean, sure, for sure. But um, yeah, for like if it was just like a little schmuck squad, you know, between that squad and somebody else, you know, <clears throat> like if there's no leader there, then you could fire on U six and then essentially DM them both. Yeah. I right, tried. Right. Okay, good point. Speaking of parody, since Smash Mouth is off the table, are you a Tears for Fears fan? Uh, they're not too bad. Matter of fact, for that same purpose, uh, yeah, he's going to go to S4 anyway. Yeah, Tears for Fears is good. A bit little high. A little, a little high. But they have Who's some good that? songs. They have some good songs. The sinking Shout lends itself to Route. Out, get the guys out, etc. Et <laughs> oh, get the hell out! <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, that might okay, be uh... ultimate challenge. Speaking of high notes, how about take on me? Oh my god, that was a better way. I have to, uh, I'd have to be circumcised or uh, testicle testicleized for that one. There you go. I'd have, you have to send me a, a, a vice grip for that one. I'm gonna say I'll put the vice grips in the mail. You know, because they got a good song for that, like a duo parody but finding someone who can hit those high notes has been the chat the gating the gating item there all right i'll get back to you on that one <laughs> uh, now if you convert that to like heavy metal a heavy metal rendition of it you could just be screaming into the mic and you'd be okay oh what that's a great idea there's a guy leo morricoli interesting i'm recording right now, but, uh, norwegian yeah. guy he does heavy metal covers He's a cover of Sultans of Swing, and it's really, really good. So I have the decision of Shout, or I could just send him a note. Hey, old buddy, old pal. Good idea. All right, I love it. That was worth playing tonight just for that little... little... Right. Any other route stuff? Okay, and then advance fay. I'm sorry, you don't have any routes, right? Yeah, none of you guys broke. Breaking up, Captain. Advancing phase. Oh, excuse me. This is trying to advance out of my belly. Yeah. All right. Basically, we were saying earlier, let's do you know something slightly different. We're not after win or lose; we're after learning, having fun. So, I think my CX half squad could go in with two of your full squads and survive. Um, I've lost the nine minus two leader oh. that way. Just last game, just last really? game. <laughs> yeah, a snake eyes, and he got a so leader out of it. Really, those are just back to the force preservation. I could tie you up in melee. That would be sweet, but that's a long shot. So I think these guys will have a change of heart. I mean, the distraction plan worked, so they'll dump into I-5. Well, think about it this way, Dennis. What does I-5 give you? What's it give you? It gives me a, a half squad, guaranteed not to die this close combat. And then I can get him around his reinforcements. But... Do you really need a half squad for reinforcements up there? If it means a victory condition for the game, yes. 
my thinking is as opposed to pretty much throw him away what's the what's the close combat roll on that your roll would be, be well you could kill one of them you'd be one to four you would need a you didn't need a snake eyes for casual reduction but to tie them up that's a 15 that's a seven to one let's see yeah that's insta kill yeah if, if you have if you had a like a three factor half squad that would be worthwhile but otherwise yeah it's too high too too high too low you're on both ends of the spectrum at that point yeah that's just suicide right and yeah if it was desperate it's like it's my it, only chance of winning <clears throat> the game would have done it but yeah if there's no leader and you were not cx that would give you like a a nine to pos possibly pin those guys down and that's not yeah, bad it's like one in six like a 16 percent chance of essentially winning the game right there one in six chance but I've yeah, yeah very familiar with the close combat tables we've been playing a valor of the guards campaign oh yeah <laughs> i can imagine i Shit, can imagine russian attacks at night brutal stuff so i've been spending some quality time with mr close combat and mr hand-to-hand -hand table oh my gosh oh. Part but continue here come here's the classic watch this we're gonna the pincher movement let's have some fun they'll probably all get blasted we're gonna throw 447 into the melee into the meat grinder mm -hmm. pool and his guys will move up mm -hmm. winter pence and his guys will so if i get one shot it'll be a down one shot i'm planning on you breaking one of those stacks but at least between the hammer and the anvil as they say You're right same token. Should I bring the fight to you? It's safe. Let's get these guys back here. Six even. I could take a chance. Move the four, six, seven. I think he'll be good just for general. I could fire at those guys in DM them, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Thinking by advancing him here, you might have to do some resource allocation. If I could get into there, but I'm hoping these guys will have moved forward and not have a shot there. So we're going to play it cautious again. They're hoping to get the text saying the war is over. <laughs> They'll hang out. They've moved. Pin guy obviously is sticking around. All right. Okay, so I will click the move button. I've completed my advances. Let's do gross combat. Kind of a redux here. Oops. Oops. So I have eight. Again, I'm I'm gonna throw everything at you because I have to. I can't split them up. So nine to your seven makes me a one to one. Okay. And I'll go uh, three to two against your full squad, the one that's not I'll take three to two shot. Oh, excellent. Okay, I figured you'd go after the lead. Okay, understood. Here goes mine. Drum roll, please. And, oh my goodness, a See casualty off. reduction. Whew. And then a three to Crazy two. Day. A three to two will CR, CR him as well. Agreed. All right, so I'll do, I'll half squat him. And then I'll make a copy of him. All right, well. Oops, he's why is he why is he not there? Oh you must have deleted him already. Delete. Okay. Good deal. Still melee. Still melee. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So we have Rally phase, good guy, turn four. Or I'll remove the pins, TIs, all that stuff. All right. Okay, bartender, set him up again. <clears throat> all right, we need a... Some of the fourth. Five in S4. Leader, will, leader will rally. And that oh, will just like you up. said, crap. And then that unit will need a six. He does not rally. But Wilson is up. 
Wow. And then I need the old tan in U6. And he is up. Wow. Well, this will make it a this will make it a game now. Yeah, slowed you down. Not <clears throat> enough. This will make it a game. The pin's gone. Okay, and you have no rallies, right? Well, it'd be nice if that four six seven was gone, but he's not. Uh, yep, coach called them speed bump and stein, something like that. Let's see. So you're killing me there, Sinbad. When was that picture taken? That's got to be late 80s or early 90s. Uh, late 80s. Aha, I made the call. All right. Late 80s. Well, it's all right. So we're on to prep fire, like you said. I have two movement phases. I have two movement phases. That's a lot of firepower. Uh, we'll take the shot. I was thinking about doing something different, but we're just going to take the shot. We're going to fire down south at Ool. That will be... 28. 28. 24 up to. 24 up to. That's, Holy cow. That's a big chart. Automatic weapons. That's a big chart. Wow. Let's pull that up there. 24 up 2. Where's that roll? Oh my gosh. That's going to hurt. All right. Former, I'll check. <laughs> wow. 3. Yep. Here it goes. See, here it goes. So, here goes Corporal Lieutenant O. Brakes does not ELR. Our morale here goes squad one, squad two. Okay, the first, so one slimes, the other just breaks. All right. Our break. Wow, that's a big right. chart. That's a big fat chart. That yeah, is. Holy moly, that's a big fat chart. How fat is it? It's about as fat as uh, six eight three eights in a pillbox. Wow. So fat inside. when it sits around a factory, it sits around a factory. That's pretty Did big. I need a rim shot app. <sighs> so that's good. So he's Yeah, all right. See? Those guys are dead though, but that's that's that may serve their they serve their purpose. They've served Retrospect. Their Maybe I should have put one of the guys in L6 to kind of break that very thing up from happening. Uh, and a little, you... Add a little strength of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Thinking possible. Thinking out loud. It's possible. All right. But, yeah. So you fired. So he's fired. Do I want to fire anyone else? That's the question. I'm not so sure. I could get a 12 plus 2 there. Again, Rich is in the wrong position, to be honest with you. Man, positions of your leaders are huge. Huge. 
because I know if you just roll, if I do the same thing with the other 747s, I'll just roll 10, then he's just going to pass a morale check. And I think the smoke is much more effective than a simple morale check. <clears throat> Options are to fire. And they'll move. We'll reduce that down. It's nothing. They'll be dead. So all that's gone. And so if we don't get smoke, we have to run that one. It's not too bad. He doesn't need to fire. He's gonna be moving. He's gonna be moving in those guys. So all four of those guys are gonna be moving. Will that be enough? Okay. Um, 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2 is a 7. 7 for 7. <clears throat> interesting to be honest okay we are going wow that's a 50% chance of just getting it straight off isn't it Okay, well, we're going to move straight to movement phase. I, I've kind of figured out what I need to do. Movement hey. phase. Um, O6 will attempt smoke placement into N5 for hey. two. There's the smoke. Yes, textbook. So that's two movement factors he has expended. Okay. Two and then now you're going with this. Let's see if my spider sense is right. I'm not going to fire. Okay. Oh, four. Yeah. Four moving factors. Shot at you. Three for shooting out of the smoke. Two for building. Down one for non assault. Wow. An eight up five shot. For not worth it. All right. Keep going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Rich will attempt smoke placement in N4, Nancy 4. Actually, just the squad. The squad's going to attempt smoke placement in N4. Rich is not moving. Okay. He's done. Oh, ends their movement. Bummer. Uh, do you choose to fire? Uh, negative. Keep going. Okay.
Um, Q4 will move one. Okay, let's see. I keep going. Two. Yeah. Three. All right. Smoky eyes will fire. Eight up three, down one. Eight up two, correct? Um, yeah. Yep. And no effect. <clears throat> get some residuals out there. Six or four? Um, it's only between. Or is it down the, one for each? I don't know if the, the smoke is always a different rule. Let me check the smoke. It's, it's usually between the target, but. Um, I know the auto, auto effect hindrances. Yeah, index. Just off my rule book here, because I'm so good, I only have to open it up once or twice a year. <laughs> I wish. Heavy and defensive force fire. Heavy and fire. I oh, have residual firepower. That's unprepared at it not being my SK rule book. Um, hmm. <coughs> um excuse me. Being from full ASL here, all non hexide TEM and smoke FFE hindrance of the target location apply to residual FP attack. Ah, uh -huh. I suppose if we do that, let's see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I just want to see where it says it reduces. Residual firepower, and I don't see it straight offhand. Let's see, uh, sometimes they put the one liners in different places in the SK rule book. Because the residual fire starts at Page seven, seven on the left hand column, second paragraph up on the bottom. It's marked with a residual firepower up to half, maximum 12 fractions rounded down. Although support of malfunction leaves no, it doesn't say anything about it. Let's see. Uh, let me go to the rest real quick, but look for it. I don't look for it under the hindrances because it's not right under the um, immediate residual firepower, hey. which is really odd.
Wiki wiki. Factory. So, have you found anything good? Negative. Not modified. Narrow Street. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm looking for a residual example. They don't have any residual examples in the book. <sighs> it's the old one liners. I'm looking into grain because grain, or maybe it's under orchard as well. Nope. Induction negated, uh, maybe, and all have I, has, wow, has it always, there's, it's gotta be a one-liner somewhere. Yeah. Smoke. Maybe. Because I figured it'd be under grain or smoke. I don't even see where smoke is. Smoke's got to be in there, though. Smoke, smoke exponent. 3.3. For the smoke. Talks about the fire attacks, final protective fire, survives defensive first fire. It just says half firepower. Thinking it. Did they just simplify it to the point that it's just half firepower, regardless of how many entrances? That's 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 fundamentally huge. I'm thinking. Looking at the full rule book here, and it's implying let's see, all non side TM <clears throat> and smoke. CM of the target location apply to a residual attack. I seem to remember Chikurans, for example. In this case, there's two smoke. So this two smoke counter would reduce that residual by two right there. We're not seeing. I don't see any other reduction. I, don't, I just don't see. I'm going to post something on the on YouTube real quick. Not YouTube, but. The Facebook starter. I haven't seen. It. I've played, and I've and the people I've discussed, talked about. We've gone over. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We've gone over reducing residual firepower. I don't see it. Oh. Eight point two six. Blah blah blah. Here we go. The amount of residual FP left by any attack is reduced by one IFT column for each positive DRM caused solely by conditions outside, including CX, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's, blah. In the, that's in the full rule book, though, right? Agreed. I just wonder if that might give us a 
an angle or stepping off point. Yeah. There's something called effect of DRM on the residual. Thing about smoke. Solely by conditions outside the hex. Being outside the target hex? Which would be your smoke. Oh, outside the target hex. The target location. Right. Okay, I had that backwards there. I I don't I don't I don't see it. I don't see it actually being reduced in SK and I've been doing that wrong with all the people I've been playing with. I would uh, say we put that on the notes and research it later. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem it should be free be like <clears throat> I would contend eight half to four normally, and then the two smoke, four to two, two to one. I okay. think there should be one. That's just based on the full rule book. Okay. If you're not seeing anything, leave it up to you to make the call. Okay. We'll um put uh put both of them on there. Just put a four one for just reference sake when people are watching if if anyone watches the video. All right. Um, okay, you got it. And Great. that way, we'll just reference that. I don't intend to. I don't necessarily intend to be moving in there anyway. But I don't see it. There are no examples of residual firepower in the rulebook. It just says do it half, and I, under the both of the hindrances that they have there, and s you would think that it would have something in there. And smoke, I don't think it has anything under the smoke either. Well, it's got some residual right here, but but it's not hindrances. Uh, it might be it might be another example if they do like a hypothetical. Unfortunately, their example is like a full page. Take a minute. four residual. Turns like rocks out. Becoming two of the functions. Okay. As it rolls and rolls, a non doubles 10, which means the 4 6 sales. 4 6 7 fails. All right, we'll leave it as four one, and uh, yeah, that's kind of odd. That's rather odd. Rather odd. Okay, so they may have been screwing up the whole time with the uh, with the SK players. So that's a uh, wow for them not to put that in there. Really. I gotta be honest with you. With if if that doesn't reduce the firepower, I think going from SK to ASL would be really damn hard. To be honest with you, because one school of thought is you're paying the penalty for shooting out of the smoke, but by the same token. Yeah. Now, if the smoke were in the hex, it's outside the hex, which you that that's the fire that's outside the hex. And so, um, yeah, but. But if they don't do the reduction of residual based on hindrances, you know, that's one more, th I, I guess, maybe that's one more. They just figure that's just one more thing SK players might need to learn. Um, I, I, I'd be interesting to know that. Okay. So um, that's there. You fired. He's fine, right? And you first fired. And the bets are just either four or one. I'm just, just going to assume it's going to be four. And so he's moved, but Rich hasn't moved. Oops. Rich hasn't moved, and so we're going to make him unmove. There you go. So those four guys have moved. On to the next units. Um, <clears throat> excuse me.
Um, one, U6 to T6. We'll try that again. Hey there. Two. Okay. One. Three. Worth taking the eight. Two. All right, keep going. You're there. Uh, drop smoke. Four. Hey. Okay. No smoke. He's done. Uh. I'd smart myself, am I going to shoot at anybody farther than you? Initial shot, yes, but on subsequent, no. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, P6 will... Let's see. We'll, um, P6 will, uh, counter exhaust. Um, should we counter exhaust? Uh, okay. yeah, I think we can counter exhaust. Problem is, do we really need to go there? That's the question. That's the question. Do we need to go there? Oh. Do we need to go there? Okay, well, do we need to go there? One, two, three. Um, he'll move to Q6. P6 to move to Q6 for two. Two. Okay, you're there. Uh, drop smoke in R6 for four. Smoke. No smoke. He's done. Reggie will move one T5. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Two. Keep going. Three. All right, go. Four. There. Five. All right, keep going. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I need it. Get rid of all that garbage. Five. Um.
six. Who are there? Rich will go two. Building. Four. Right, you're there. All right, Wilson. All right. Okay. We need to make sure we don't see anybody. Now we might see him. We might see him. All right. One. Oh, he's going by himself, is he? Okay, I'll bite. We're down two. And kapow. Excellent. Oh, Take that. And he finaled. That's how it's done. Time they've done that. Right, at least. <laughs> All right. Okay, and then we'll go up. Uh, he's free to move at that. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then well played. I, I got one more guy. Uh, one, two, three, ah, four. Very clever. Uh, he's and then keep uh, bad, keep bad. <laughs> and that's all the units I can move. Defensive fire phase. <laughs> yeah, I'm right, so going to final fire. Yeah, that was an interesting movement phase, interesting attack, and the whole nine. That was, a, that was an interesting phase. Lots of different things, lots of different things can go on. Educate me, I assume, since these guys first fire, now fire subsequently at same or adjacent targets, correct? Correct. All right, so then they'll do their final fire shot for even at Orchard Boys. Got it. Sounds like a bluegrass band. Here it goes, four even. Boom, all right. No effect. To it. M6, they'll shoot their eight up three at Rich and his guys. Eight up three. Okay, there's a morale check. Better than nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, Jason. Okay, morale check. Yep, three. Morale check. Uh, leader is an eight, and the other guy's a four. Leader's pinned. Something. And then, uh, yeah, okay. All right, Hunter Pence, Captain Underpants. Let's shoot an eight up two up, pardon me, eight down one. Right. Getting yeah, they're not in a building. Ooh, ah. Eight down one. Boom. Eight. Ugh. Oh, it's a morale check. Had a good chart. chance to do some damage. Yep. That's morale check. Okay, uh, leader's pin. Good. Break. A little bit of everything. Wow, I didn't expect anybody to survive that, to be honest. All right, well, not wanting to be left out. Here comes the most powerful shot of the game here. Well, they can't. Actually, they can't because they haven't fired yet. How about a two up two? Sounds good. Huffing and puffing path squad. Boom, baby. Six okay. on the two. Pin check. Pin test. Nice work, you guys. He's okay. All right, I think I'm spent. Let's go to advancing fire phase. This should be fun. 
Oops. Not to mention painful. No, I should be all right. Boom. Um. Hmm. Eight, ten, fifteen, twelve. See, that's the exact same thing. Um, it won't make a difference whether I go eight plus three or twelve plus four. So we're going to go eight plus three here, uh, adjacent into the four, six, seven, six. Oh wow, a cowers. So that's a six, five on the six chart is uh -oh. a one, one check. Yeah, when that happens. Hey, here goes one check. Okay, they Oof. break the ELR. Okay. And then the uh, Reggie will fire. <clears throat> Reggie's going to fire to the melee. Seven. Three and a half, a four, five, so four, four up two. No effect. Fires into the melee, okay. And then... Uh... Damn, that's a Russian move. You're... <laughs> uh, I didn't see any more American helmets in there, so we thought it was clear. Uh, eight. Uh, pl let's go... Four plus three. That's such a stretch. I would need a three. Pins would be good. Three or four would be good um the 747 will fire in the same location from n6 to l3 will be a four up three chart oh, I did not see that coming okay yeah rich would have been four up two but four up three near something low that's not gonna do it other cower Jeez. oh wait you throw three doubles in a row you have to go to jail okay uh jail is an m4 so we'll go directly to jail uh, direct jail. Uh, and then we got the units in the back. Uh, that'll be a four plus eight, be twelve plus three, against the uh, unit in R seven. Doki. It's uh, so a one check on the twelve chart. They're coming up, and they're pinned. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nice, good job, guys. Okay. Um, bye. The war is over. Funny. You're pinned, but I still get DM'd in the open, although you can't interdict. That's odd. DM'd in the open just by virtue of the fact that you're in the open, right? Uh, and in normal range of you, but normally pin units can't interdict, so I can just route away all I can. Are but... they two separate items? What's just... that? I think just does there have to be someone in line of sight for you to become DM'd in open ground, or I thought just yeah, yeah, yeah. it has to be line of sight. Yeah, line of sight, uh, normal range, and line of sight of a good order enemy unit that would be able to end. Oh. That would be able to interdict it if it's routing in that hex. So they don't even know. Uh, well, that's something I have to route. But let's see. Such a unit is placed under... No. I'm not even placed under DM at that point. Because you can't interdict me. So therefore, it doesn't force me to DM and doesn't force me to route. The same token, since you're not DM'd, you can't route. Okay. Correct. Which I, which just gives me the saves me the plus four. So that means I can route them on an eight next turn. Yeah, so that... Interesting. That worked out for you. Okay. Yeah, that's... I, I, I usually don't see that. Because like I say... Usually broken units don't stay in the open. So, uh, it's very interesting on that. So let's go to Uh, he, and then route phase, let's remove all the preps. So I have to route first. This unit is eliminated for failure to route because it's adjacent to both your guys. For us? Whew. And then that's it for my broken units. Damn it. Do these guys have an out? Oh, although I think I could be interdicted here if I go there. Right. Out with the leader, just the leader. There's one check involved, is that correct? Uh, are you going to low crawl or are you just going to route? Normal route and I face interdiction. If I route as a stack. Uh, I think you have to route that. separately, right? You have to route separately. Oh, really? I think so. I don't know in starter kits. No, in, in, in ASL, you technically have to route separately as well. 
So here's this guy is FTR, I believe. Yep, he's gone. Wait a minute. Weren't you saying pin guys can't interdict? Correct. There's a pin, not your guy. Okay, so. Right, the leader's a pin. The funny thing, the leader's oh, in both those areas are pinned. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, well. I'll have to look that up later about starting it. So here's my plan. We're all going to route the eight one at a time, right? Uh, Yeah, the leader can choose to route with someone if he wants to, but. Well, actually, he can't. The leader has to route separately. If the leader were good order, he could choose to route with someone. But, yeah, there's no All point. Right, well, here goes the leader taking morale check. He's fine. A morale squad makes it. Other squad, their casualty receives. Okay. That's a bloody turn. But half squad. Clone and that like that, like that. Okay. Well, oh, that's not too bad. That that turned out very fortuitous for me right there to only lose one squad out of that. That is super crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, and then um, we have advanced phase. So let me move this junk out of the way. Should it even? I don't really need to engage in close. Well, I'm just gonna fire on that guy again. But do I really care? You have one more turn to get over there, so you have to move them anyway. Doesn't really matter. We'll advance here. Um, well, actually, one, two, three, four. I just we'll, we'll route him. We'll advance him there. Um, I think we have to jump into close combat here, unfortunately. I wanted to take that leader with me, but it's not going to happen. So we'll go here. And here. It's going to be a two to one here and here. Here. Uh, should I? Can't see the terrain. That's the bad thing. Pins are gonna be gone. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump to close combat. We'll take a shot. May not be the best idea, but we'll, we're gonna take a shot. And then that's it. Wow, look at all those pin units. Three pin units. Three pin units. Okay. Close combats. We have two ambushes. We'll go the M6 first, Mary 6. 
So there's no ambush or doing it yet. Yeah. yeah. Ambush, yes. Right? Mm hmm. Okay. Ambush. No ambush there. So that's a um, a one to one. Uh, one to one and one to two, right? Agreed. Actually, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one to one on my end. Let's see. No effect. Yeah, one to two. Barely, barely misses. misses. Barely misses. All right. So that's melee. I'll flip it. Okay. And then ambush in K4. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. So that would be an ambush, yes? Yep. Hmm. Tough choice. Pull out and give you the building. Uh, there. If I were to pull out, it would be there with your seven. I could blast you with eight. Right up in melee, this time is disadvantageous for me. Tough choice. This is. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Pretty tough choice in that one. He can either move out of the building. Somebody, I'm going to stick it out. Or stay in there and hopefully try and kill me. He'll one be at to one two. to four minus two. One to two minus two. Again? One to two minus two, right? Two. Right, so I need a six result. Six to reduce, less than six to eliminate. Here Correct. goes. Wow, oh, missed by one. By one, of course. Okay. okay, one to one plus one. No effect. Hey, okay, another melee. That's I know what you need. Yeah, I needed that guy not to. Well, the other melee would be cleared, but it's good and bad. Like you said, it's good and bad. You can move out to do something, and but um, yeah, it's good and bad. You never know what's going to happen. And then the other melee on there, uh, is your, where's your clink going to stack with? Who's going to defend with? Oh, with the half squad. Yes. So I'll do a, uh, I'll do a one-to-one -one against you in the half squad then. I have a two-to-one, correct? Uh, yep. All right. 11 won't do anything. So. Wow. Those guys have been going at it for Ew. a long time. For a long time. Okay. So three melees. Three melees. If I don't think I have. Let me check. I was looking at the VCs down there. I assume the Germans have to have a good order Correct. unit. Correct. And of course, if you're in melee, you're not in good order. Okay. Wow. Three melees. All right. And then so there's yeah, that. That close combat rally phase. German term five. Again, you're breaking up, Captain. The German term five. You. It's a Z Germans. All right, let's rush this along. So you remove PN. PN. Okay, so we're doing. Rally, rally phase. Right. I could really use these guys to rally. Yeah, that would be There's huge. an important role here. Peter's going to need a five by my count. Yeah. There he oh, is. Oh, look at that. Thank you, dice gods. Yeah, that's a huge role. Let's do the six mile unit. Six to a two building leader needs a four. Almost. Mm. And other guys will need a six. Mm. Now, Got a leader back at least. He can do stuff. That's all I got. Here go. Uh, I've got the unit over in the open ground. Ah, oh, the nine. Darn it. <laughs> He's got a BDM now. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Oh well. That would have been nice to have him. But uh, wow, that's it. That's it for my rallies. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. 
All right, well. All right, it doesn't look like I can have well, because I fire, no, no fire. This should go quickly. I'm done with prep fire. Guys, CX off. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Into the orchard, J4 for one. Uh, let's see. Who else do you have to move? Like, nobody. Is that an orchard between him and there? Um. I'll be able to get over to reinforce that melee. Okay, continue. E. Continue. Four. Okay. What? Your leader? What can your leader do? The only thing he can do is reinforce the melee at M6. Uh, so that will add. That will actually add mm, three, six, nine. It'd be three to one. Um. Uh, let me see that. Let me see the sex here. That's not going to have LOS. That's not going to have LOS. All right, we'll fire. Um, Reg will fire six minus three. All right. Wow, Barry misses it. Oh, it does? Darn it. It's two on the six of K. Two on the six of K. K, one K. Of okay, darn it. Didn't think you had that. Yeah, it's close. It was not straight, but it's probably the only shot he's going to have. And I'm not sure that I want to fire in the melee during my turn, during your turn. Just the off chance I survive. Just the off chance I survive. No point. See if they do rally next turn. What can I do? He's going CX. Okay. Woods one two. Go ahead. E pucker factor is pretty high. <clears throat> Go ahead. Four. Okay, now it's the deciding factor. Does Wilson want to fire into the melee, or does he not want to fire? And is the leaders brandish their pistols at one another? Uh, continue. Five. Continue. Rating over there. Yeah, you go. Keep going. Okay. Six, seven. Yep. Desperate times, desperate measures. Right. When these guys out of the battle down there it didn't help. Still think I should move that five for it, but chalk it up to experience. Okay, now here comes the chariots of fire movement. <laughs> how far they can get okay here go cx into q8 for uh, one okay i've got no one else, no one else to fire at uh q6 will fire six minus two five and the six of one Through the wheat field, boom, boom, over to there. Take on Rit. So, yeah, you had to, you had to try something. You had no choice in that guy. <clears throat> it for movement. So now, to beat 
the dead horse to flog the expired equine creature. It's not, the Germans don't control this building because they were in first and the Americans have arrested them back. The victory condition said there has to be a good order. Correct. Control has nothing new with it. Okay, that's just making sure. Yeah. That's, I think, what I screwed up initially with my setup. Right. Yeah, and that's why I had a big issue with um, another scenario, the third arm, because the control was not a condition of the virtual conditions. It was just simply occupying. But he, the, the, the moderator or the person that had sent out the thing uh, actually found the original French trans translation, and he translated through Google French, and it ended up being controlling the hexes. But this is just good order units in there. Which essentially is non For all intents and purposes, it's controlling the hex. Because if I'm in the hex, you know, if I'm a good order in the hex in melee, then you're not controlling it. Then you're not good order and you're not controlling it. But if I were broken in the hex for like, if I fired a melee and a guy broke, then you would control, then you would be a good order unit because you wouldn't be held in melee. Um, actually, that's wrong. You'd have to route. Everyone broken would have to be. Yeah, so pretty much... You pretty much you have to control the hex is what it kind of turns out. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's some sort of weird... Right, and then we're con... starting out how we define, quote, control. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's by default you being alone in the hex will be controlling the hex because the, there's no other way you can be alone in the hex and not control it. So, but just good order. A multi-man counter, that is. So the other scenario did not specify multi-man counter. But you can't... But once it was defined as controlled instead of occupied then single man counters were thrown out of the equation. So, interesting, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this doesn't change anything, to be honest. Okay. okay, so then... And then it's just a defensive fire phase? I think this is... Well, possible for the Germans, but you're going to get a whole bunch of guys there. Let's... See how it goes. I'm putting my money on the Americans, though. Okay. Uh, Wilson will fire into K4. Uh, he'll fire a uh, 6 plus 2. Wow, you have an advantage on that one, then, don't you? E4, you said? Uh, oh, so actually, 6 plus 1. Because if I break myself, I can route. You're still... They're going to be killed. He'll be fired upon... I'd be more likely to break the guys in the big hex. You're, you're not going to miss that many rolls. That's all there is to it. A 9 minus 1 is not going to really add much difference to it. It will only make a difference. It won't make a difference at all, to be honest. It'll just give you one more firepower. Exactly. The CX and the leadership will wash, but. Yeah. Seven, eight, I'll be eight to point three. in there. In case <clears throat> someone's reduced and you're killed, it might make a difference. It's right. Get in there and try, or you can sit on the bench. Yeah, and nothing. I'm not so sure that I want to fire and do a K4 because if I break myself, I'm more likely to break myself than you because you're nine and eight morale. But I have an equal chance of breaking the other guy. But if I break myself, well, I have to survive two close combats. That's just not going to happen over there. Because you still have a you have a two to one against me, right? You still have a two to one. You just need a seven. You're not going to miss another seven. That's just not going to happen. So Wilson will fire into L three. Okay. Um, I think it may not be the best idea, but but we're going to fire into L three. That'll be a right. six six plus one. Uh, no effect. So it's Very it's well. irrelevant. And then so he's fired. Uh, he can do nothing. He's not going to bother doing anything over there. I uh, can't see anything. Stu can do. Stu can do nothing. Six plus three. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, no other fire. Events fire. Um, oh, you don't okay, have Okay, done with advanced fire. That took yeah. a while. And then the route phase, no one's... You have a broken unit. Uh, no, it's the wrong one. You're getting closer to S4. 
Ah, oh, okay, you so... You go to O10. Oh, Carl, that way. Okay, uh... O10 would be closer. Right, Dennis? There. Yeah. That? Yeah, you can make it to O10, it doesn't really matter, because he's not going to rally. I'm done routing. Okay. And then advancing. Uh, all right. Combat. A mic six. <clears throat> One to two. Those. No effect. And then one to one. No effect. Four kilo four. I'm going one to two, but I have a down one. All right. Those. Oh, a five. There's a reduction. That's yeah, a reduction. And then nothing there. He's just still, still a melee. That's all he needs to do. Um, and then the big stack. Now your leader can stack with someone else. And so the CX only applies to the leader. The CX modifier only applies to the leader, correct? I still, all of my guys have to attack you. I can't. Right. But it'll apply to the whole attack, basically. All right. Oh, let's see. How can we do this? Both leaders will stack with the 237 just to offset the odds a little bit. All right. You're doing a 1 to 2 no matter who you go against. Uh, I'll take the uh, I'll take the 447. 1, 8 to 3. Actually, I'll take the leader, the 9 minus 1, because I get a minus 1 on him. Yes, for the CX. And he gets a plus, yeah, he gets a plus one on me, so plus one, minus one, yeah, so it's, it's even for that, so. Yeah, very good. You're, you'll get me this time, so I need to roll well. I need to roll well. I have a two to one, correct? Yeah. One even. Leadership and CX wash, correct? Correct. So I need a seven to get you. Yep. Boom. Oh, there it is. Nice work. So he's gone there and against the oh. leader. Oh, Holy we're all God. gone. Except for the four. Today's ball game is brought to you by True Value Hardware Store. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Um, That's leader creation and you'll have to... You rolled a three anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's gonna... It would redo the odds, but it won't matter. A three will kill me. Did we roll it just... Because it doesn't happen very often? Yes, we'll roll just because that doesn't happen very often. So I'll roll a leader creation, which will be a it's gonna be a one to two chart. So that's gonna be a two minus two. So he would get we shifted eight. for the odds call, I'll see. Yeah, so he would get an eight minus one leader. So technically he would get another stew. Okay. And so he would fire. Do, that would make it a four right so then you would have four you'd have a two to one even and you would just need a seven but your three still kills the the new reinforced half squad so, right so he didn't even get to put his stripes on his uniform before he got gacked right. <clears throat> and i don't think that you can then can you deny leader creation I'm not sure that you can. I don't think so. I never heard of that. Because if it was victory points, then you just got two more victory points. Right. Good point. We'll have to save that for the... Yeah. Ah, three leaders. Three <laughs> leaders lost in that turn. Let me see. Wow. It. I think that pretty much sealed it, because if you had... Oh. They had survived. Yeah, you would have had a lot of firepower. I would have taken a lot of shots in M4. 
Well, it's not over yet. Not looking good, but there's still a chance. Okay, so I will. That, that concludes bright no concealment growth. Oops, don't have to do that here. All right. So is this bottom of the fifth? Bottom of the fifth. All or nothing, baby. All or nothing. Zero, zero, bottom of the fifth. Actually, it's what, uh, we can count up the dead, I guess. <laughs> no, you get more dead than I do, so. But, uh, yeah. A lot of dead. Bottom of the fifth. I need, like, one run. One run. It's tied. Both yes. tied. So, I have one rally off on the right-hand side. And he fails to rally again. And Dang. Just not into it today. That would That would be nice to get that guy. Okay, and then you can't rally, and so we go to the uh, prep fire phase. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six plus one, or six plus two. You have to fire Jason at eight plus two. Swarmed here. Hmm. Well, that leader's free to move. <laughs> to try to figure out a way to get those squads up in, from the back up there. Three, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, um, um, uh, one to Q five. All right, keep going. Two, okay, two, three, yeah, four, okay. Uh, we'll go one, okay. two, three, four. Yeah. We'll go, uh, one, two, three, four. Shots. Five. Okay. Six. Okay. You are there. And then, um. Hmm. Eight plus two. Okay, uh, the squad with Reggie, um, they need to be able to move. Uh, Rich will go two, three. Okay. Four. Yeah. Really? And then, um, tech, I'm debating. Stu will go one, two, three. I, I think these guys will fire at Rich. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Stand by. Get down two. Right. Seven is one morale check. Pins. Dollar. Two. Yeah. A good deal. All right. Um, Wilson will go one, two, three. All right. Final fire. Up two. No. Okay. 
Um, uh, Reggie and the 747 will throw smoke into M3. Um, no, we need those guys moving up there. 10, 9, it really doesn't matter. Um, you have 4. We need as many bodies in there as possible. It's a fires. Only as many bodies in there as possible. Fire group together. Um, they're going to assault move Reggie, and Reggie and the, and the squad will assault move. I think we're going to drop smoke into M3. Nope. And then we're going to follow up the assault move and move assault move in the open ground there. Very big chance. I'll check. All right. Probably not the wisest decision, but let's do a final protective fire. It's almost damned if you do, and damned if you don't, to be honest. It should be a four down two, and it's a morale check. All right. Tune in next week for the exciting conclusion of... Okay. That's a one, so, one check? Then on the four is a pin test for everybody. So I'm pinned, and you are taking a pin check. A uh, pin so, check? Why is it only a pin check? Is in seven on the four. Minus two, Force right? down two. Order. Okay, never mind. Okay, one check. Correct. Okay, we got a seven, nine fails, and a four makes it. Reggie breaks. And you're pinned. Now, okay. modifier doesn't apply to my check, right? It's just a straight roll. What's that? Correct. The roll is seven. Correct. It's not modified at all, correct? It's just a straight roll. Yeah, 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 straight roll. That would pin me. Okay. Straight roll. Unless you had like a leader, then the leadership could the leader, you have leadership apply to it. If you had like a nine minus one sure. leader in there, so so. Uh, Alrighty. And uh, Stu moves down to L six, and that's all I have to move. All right, I'll remove residuals. That's a fair residual. All right, advancing fire. And then um, we've got uh, eight plus one from Wilson. God, those nine minus twos are garbage. <laughs> and then we'll uh, hand to hand. We'll follow uh, eight plus three from the units just north of him. They get the dot job done. There you go. Eight on the eight. The morale check. Yeah, oh, that'll that'll do it. Take. That'll be game because I have to route out, and he'll advance in. Yeah. I'll say I have no more good order. Right. Oh, congratulations! That was that was some crazy stuff happening there at the end. To be honest with you, you know, oh, like the the, the open ground guy, the rally. Of course, I didn't rally him, but that could have made a big difference. That would have had another squad there. Yeah. I got lucky in K six, and busting that stack was going to destroy me. And then you didn't destroy me right after that, so I got super lucky there, which tied those guys up in K four. Just a lot of a lot of fortuitous things happening. Right there, right when I needed them to. And that 9 minus 2 didn't do anything the entire game. Yeah, it's, kind of minimized. Losing a half squad here, guys being out of it hurt. Yeah. I think I really should have known that you were going to fire here or here. I should have pushed one of the squads to minimize the damage. Like over the VC hexes? Think, yeah, like Russ. I think he, I should have really, the Germans should really clear this out before. Right, right, and that's and that's the main reason. While I while that is the main reason, and I'll tell you, it actually happens and it, it actually happened to do two things for me. When I moved, when I moved the um, uh, the eight one Stu and the two squads into K six, and they stayed there pretty much the whole game. That Gosh. that gave me, um, that gave me presence. 
on that particular spot of the board where you didn't want me to be. And that was what I was trying for because uh, it allowed me to break that one unit. And your leader in N5, which he just died straight up, if the other unit would have broken, he would have died the turn earlier. And neither, no, those units can't route backwards. They can only route down. And uh, so that would hurt them there. And that was my, luckily he stayed alive there. And I moved, I moved, um, I moved Stu up the one more hex. I moved him up in, into K5, hopefully trying to, it, it moving into K5 instead of staying into K6 did so many things for me. It put me into a close proximity of the melee hex. So, um, so if you move your moved your units into K4 and you didn't you move your other units in the bottom to engage Stu with his two squads, then I'd have a strong that I could then react with my fire and blast into K K3. So I can blast into K3 um, with greater firepower. Uh, if you were there, you could have just moved to you know, I'm sorry, K4. You could have just move to K3, but again, like that little that squiggly. Three minus two, I had you on your K three, kind of pop that half squad. So um, I put more pressure up there, just like by just simply by being over in K six. And then next turn, let's say I survive, and let's say your five four eight went over to K two, and he was in a good defensible position, or he's moving. Then I'd only have to assault move into K four and not take shots, free shots from your other units in the surrounding area. So if I happen to move into K five, survive. And K4 is open. I could just assault move into K4, and and be even closer to that victory point hack. So, uh, I I was losing I was losing all those modifiers from being in a K5, but that I, I don't want to move. Like, essentially, at that point, then you could just sit your five four eight and jumping over, jump him over to M M6. You know, drop a couple smokes because you had a bunch of guys that could drop smoke. Oh, smoke exponent of two is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty decent. You got three guys. So if you pop him over there, you get over there, which is possible. Then you have three squads covering the J4, K5 avenue of approach for me to go to reinforce the uh, melee. And so I would have been stuck then anyway. So I decided to try to take the move early. And luckily you followed me into K6. Uh, instead of, like you said, instead of sending at least one unit over the N6. But that was that was all that was yeah was, i was probably about a 20 percent chance of survival from there simply because of your firepower your fire strength and i honestly needed to fire somewhere else you know my priority fires were elsewhere but you gave me it that was such a target that i just i mean the 24 chart is crazy i usually don't roll crap on 24 charts as you but you know i usually roll I was the expecting tens. to blast you in return if i could have broken both of your guys yeah if one of your unit one yeah. of your squads had survived that's you know it's still an eight point blank and seven morale units are going to break under the eight morale eight chart that's all there's to it but luckily i i only sustained one shot and that shot was um a little higher than what you wanted it to be so um interesting development in the game i'm really curious to know about this the the uh, residual firepower to be honest with you um i'm scratching my head on that now i'm sure i'm missing it somewhere in the rules but i'm scratching it in my head right now um just for that instance so uh at least it was interesting pretty much throughout the game to be honest with you i think every turn had something to offer and um although the end you know i got that lucky you know remove you from that hex sort of thing and um, I would have had to drop a lot more smoke in this area, and it would have been like a smoke fest, and maybe a, maybe one guy in a close combat would have been like the ultimate ending, and see see who's uh see who can withstand that. But um, you know, just overall the the, the four six seven and R seven turns out to be he was he was doing his job breaking some guys here and there. Um, pulled those two guys back from P six Q six to make me try to smoke and things like that. Instead of putting it on the front line, where I actually kind of really needed them, but I needed a nine. I was trying to hope I, I needed nine minus two, but he still didn't do squat. You know, minus two really did eliminate some of those building modifiers. But you know, I guess if you have twenty chart, you have to worry about a plus three. So maybe um. And uh, the eight I one. I put up here. Yeah, definitely. But it's really post game it, show. Yeah, I think again, not understanding the victory conditions to begin with. 
altered my plan. Yeah. I blame, blame it on the high command. There you go. Because I would have done something different, but we'll save that for, for next time. Yeah. But now, where do you stand in your your list of stuff that you're doing? You're working 